I forget something. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. screen <laughs> keyword ASMR yes um I made a new one I guess <laughs> I just made one today so it's it's not perfect but also 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 we have a I have a break screen you can you can play tic-tac-toe if you want <laughs> uh, wait let me let me try this real quick real quick I just set this up today in case it looks nice thank you in case, uh, you know... Wait, there's no chat over here. Let me add it real quick. <laughs> I'm I'm not well prepared, as you can see. Um, to center this. Okay, okay. Did it work? Did it work at all? Doesn't look like it worked. Oh, you, you gotta type in play and then I don't know one does it does it work it's buggy isn't it I think you had to do that but it doesn't do I not count as chat oh okay I do not count as chat incredible <laughs> uh, if you want I can um, copy this Vid widget over to the drawing screen. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let me do that. Let me do that. I'll add it for. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> let me add that for you. Over here as well. And you can play. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I think it's a new widget. I can, I can add it in this corner. <laughs> I'll make it a bit smaller though. Is this still big enough for you? <laughs> oh. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well. The only thing I hate about this is how um it kind of like scales. It doesn't keep it like the same size. I don't know how to do that yet. Yeah, there's no can't edit it. Wait, try again. I think I was in the settings, so... <laughs> so it probably didn't take your, um, like, command. Anyways, I've already started cleaning up the sketch a little bit. While I was, uh, in meetings. <laughs> so now I just, I just, uh, need to finish... Cleaning up the sketch, I guess. I'm not really doing lines today. Responsible chat restarting. Why? Wait, try it. Try again. <laughs> I don't know. Let me let me know if it doesn't work. Well, I can. Yeah, this is this is a new widget. I I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't work. I abandoned my hot mango man for me, for your milk. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Tell me about the hot mango man, man. Oh, 
what 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 manga were you reading? Who survived some on the server? Oh yeah, I saw uh, the the gilf turning dilf. No wait, the dilf turning gilf. <laughs> Was it that one? I only saw the first few like posts, so I don't know. Yes. <laughs> so you're a dilf hunter too, huh? I think we have like two or three dilf hunters in this Discord channel. I haven't seen Kat in a while though. She was the biggest still hunter ever I've ever known. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see. Why not? Is this one juicy enough if I do it like this? I just happened up on them. <laughs> I see. Can't help but notice the gilfs. That's fair. I wanna. Uh, never mind. That is the very tip of the octopus tentacle. And what is this? Oh wait. Did I actually make this bigger? So it covers more of his body? Was that it? I can't read my sketch. <laughs> I think it was more like this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks more decent. I think. Hmm. I lost to a bot. Oh no. <gasps> well, I don't know. Tic tac toe is kind of difficult. I think. Well, I can't actually play because I'm not part of chat apparently. But, um, you basically have to either start in the middle or you start, uh, you, you, um, catch all of these corners and then you can basically trap the bot. Try again. <laughs> I'll, I'm cheering you on. There's also a lot of, I think there's a lot of luck involved as well. If you're a really good player. If you figured it out, you'll always end up in a in a draw with someone who can also like think. <laughs> As at least that was the case for uh, me and my friends. There's also a different game in, uh, in for this chat thingy for this uh, game. You can also play a different game. Um, Apart from tic-tac-toe, but I'll have to set it up. And for some reason you can't have both of them? Or at least I didn't know how to set that up. There you go. I guess I'll... I'll play around with these features. A bit, uh, after stream. Oh, you're doing pretty well, I think. Oh, it's gonna end up in a draw. Huh. You have no choice but to go for the number three. <laughs> Oop, and it's a draw, I think. <laughs> I wish there were more of these um interactive games. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. I won't take this down. <laughs> I won't take this down unless you um, win against the bot. 
This is this is your training arc. Wait, uh, how much of this is his body? There's a lag, so I have to enter it while it restarts. Oh, that sucks. Should I? Should I increase the time for your turn? Let me let me do that real quick. I'm I'm sure you can't uh, enter it right now, but let me increase the time for you. Filters properties. Oh, that's twice as much now. It's Ten seconds now. So I think you could be able, you should be able to, uh, enter it. Oh no. Oh no. Should I up the, should I up the time to 15? 15 seconds. <laughs> I see the text messages. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let, let me let me increase the the delay a bit more. It doesn't it doesn't let um let me increase it any more than 15 seconds. So if it doesn't work now, uh <laughs> I guess you'll have to type it in. Play four. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think Right, um, so the delay, you have to wait until the, um, countdown hits zero, because it, um, it waits for people to, like, vote for what number, and then once, uh, the countdown hits zero, it enters, um, the final vote, basically. So it'll update every time the countdown hits zero. And you can enter whatever you want uh, in the meantime. <laughs> that's... What... That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> hmm! Really fine. Oh yeah, that is a good uh, strategy. You've already won. Good job. There's a few patterns uh, that guarantee a win, I think. Let me, let me draw them for you. So I think one winning strategy is to is to get these these spots. So you have an X either way. Then what you did is another win, I think, right? From the middle... I think there was another one, but I don't really remember it. Was it... was it this? Yeah, I think that's a win too. So yeah, any if you get any of these... Like patterns, I think you'll be able to win. Okay. Me, yeah, let me draw his hand, and then we can start um, <clears throat> painting. You won! Yeah, you won! I saw that. I saw that. What a boss. Also, like, I started uh, talking about bots. Um, I started playing chess again <laughs> on chess.com. And I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm too lazy to think. So I, I use, like, the hints and... Well, not the hints, but... 
I do use the analysis function, which tells you whether you've like botched your move or you've missed a win or something. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think I should play chess against a human. Terrible at it. The emote reminds me of those dancing helichurls. Oh my god, you're right! It does look like a helichurl. Maybe it was inspired by the Oni. The Japanese and Asian demons. What are these fingers? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I'm always contemplating um, drawing the fingernails or just like going anime and not drawing the fingernails. I guess for this it, it would be nice to have them. too long? I think so. Hmm. It's bad, I, I think. There we go, that's a hand. Even with the checkers and chess sets my mom owns, I never learned how to play. Oh, you never did. Hmm. Well, I guess you only need... Basically, you only need to learn, um... In, at a very basic form level. You only need to learn how the chess pieces move. And then it's just, like, turn-based. Turn-based strategy. Of course, there's, like, different... Openings and uh, strategies and stuff, but... It's, it's, a, it's a game, if you're playing it leisurely, leisurely, you don't have a time limit, so it doesn't really matter if you don't know the strategies. You just need to pay attention, take a good look at, around, and then think a few moves ahead. But like, as you know, my, my processing ability is really, <laughs> it's really slow. So, uh, when I play against, like, uh, another human being, they always, like, make moves so fast. I haven't even finished thinking, you know? So yeah, my friend always beats me at chess. Oh, speaking about chess, like, my, my uncle's, um... But wait, is that my nephew or my cousin? No, I think it's my cousin. Well, <laughs> my step cousin, okay? My step cousin is like, he's like six or something. And he, he really got into chess <laughs> recently. So when I, when I was, when I was vis visiting them, like I, I went over to the house and we were playing chess, you know? I was like, oh yeah, I do enjoy playing chess. <laughs> It's nice how a youngin like you likes to play chess, and honestly, I was kind of scared that he'd beat me. Because, you know, kids at that age, they get obsessed with, like, like a single thing. So they get hyper fixated on it, and then they do it all day, and that's how they get good. So I was playing chess <laughs> against the whole family, and basically I lost to a six-year-old. I lost, I lost to my step-cousin, okay. He, he was so quick. And he, he thought so far ahead. <laughs> I was just reacting. I wasn't even like I wasn't even like strategizing. I just I was just reacting, and that's how uh, that's how I lost. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> and and of course my uh, my is it boisterous? No, no, it's it's not the right word. But my my uncle, he was like, oh my god. How can how can you not see this move? And then he he does like a chess move, and I'm I'm shook because I didn't see it coming and stuff. And I guess I guess the whole family is that way. And they they were very like competitive. It seems no wonder they got so so good really quick. I swear some kids are built different. No kids in general are just built different. 
honestly adult adults should be scared of teenagers be because you know they have all the time and at that age they are so young and fiery they really have the motivation to do stuff <laughs> that's why I like kids are always so good I still remember when I was in, uh, when I was playing handball and uh, I was you know when you're a senior you're always like you kind of scared of your kohais. There's always that one kohai that is so fucking good and is actually better better than you at playing the sport. And you're like, yeah, yeah. And the only thing you can beat them in is uh, experience. So so you don't know some a few tricks that they haven't learned yet because you know they like the experience. But that's it. If it if it's about raw pala, raw speed, raw skill, usually the youngins, they're way too good. Oh hi, Scorpio the Venus flytrap, Jester. Wow, that's a long username. Sorry, if I only noticed you now. Wow. Hi. No motivation for like ten years. Ah, oh, it's fine. If you're if you're living in a stress stressful environment, it's really draining so I don't blame you for not having uh, that much motivation okay okay so what have you guys been doing this week how's it been going I haven't asked that yet I believe okay wait I forgot his t-shirt I should um move his collar a bit further away so that the opening isn't as close to um his neck because it, it gives him a little bit more like breathing room for this area and then we have a bit of, of space to draw the collarbone You know, because a collarbone is very, um, miscuous, <laughs> very scandalous, you know? Let's not forget. Okay, so his body is kind of like this way, but eh, maybe I want to take it this way. He doesn't have a chest. He doesn't need a chest. Nothing much. Procrastinating on a very late birthday present. This is my friends and internet. Oh. Whose birthday is it? And what, what are you gifting that person? Also, what kind of gifts do you usually give? No, there's, there's always like some sort of default gift that you think of, right? For me, it's uh, it's just making food, cake, <laughs> and uh, probably like looking for something convenient. Okay. I kind of don't want to erase this part, like his shoulder. It kind of looks good. You don't really need it, do you? Mm. Okay, well. his pants and stuff so that's not important okay okay i think i've, I've got the layout down 
So now I can set up some base colors. Nothing. Hmm. Also contemplating actually working on a story for like the 30th time. Which probably won't happen. I usually don't give gifts. Oh, I see. Promised to give some bleach fan art to a friend back in June for her birthday. Ooh, this was around the second week without internet. Oh, so... So procrastinating on drawing that fan art. I see. Hmm. Yeah, also, you, like, you had a lot of interesting story ideas. I like them. I like them. I don't know, maybe, maybe you could take uh, one of your... Your, uh... One of your story quips. The ones that you like the best and, um... You know, flesh them out a little bit more. I think it would be good practice. Or you could, like, write an excerpt. A tiny sample, you know? I think usually that's already, like, enough. I think some writers also do that as a practice. This like photo studio lighting, <laughs> flash lighting. Uh, I'm gonna use that a lot. I mean, it's it's easy, it's striking, and it just looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the concept. I <clears throat> I need to lay down the flats. the black we're actually going for the white jacket i just thought it looked better and aki's drawing is already so dark i thought maybe going for for a white color for yoshida would be not a nice contrast and if i were to write um if i were to write a reasoning paper <laughs> for this um if i had to analyze my art i would probably say something like oh yeah it's a spoiler alert <laughs> wait no you haven't re read chain someone I, I man I, yeah i shouldn't I, I shouldn't spoil you never mind never mind So since I couldn't look for references and such, I lost inspiration and motivation. We went through like seven different rough drafts for a character and finally got the got to the one I liked. Still working on the on the other character to see if I can get an idea that pops out on me. Nothing so far though. Ah, the creative process. The eternal struggle. I feel like sometimes I I have like a really good idea and then I I try to you know still go for a few a few uh, few other thumbnails when it comes to composition just so you know maybe I'll come up with a, a different a different um, concept and uh, composition that actually works better than the one I've thought of initially 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 yeah yeah so uh but then but then i end up with um like one of the earlier concepts in the end so i'm, I'm sitting there like okay i have like 20 thumbnails now and thumbnail number two was the one that i'm going with <laughs> so i wasted like time 
drawing 18 thumbnails that I won't even use. <laughs> Uh, and sometimes, sometimes I I draw like a hundred thumbnails, and the hundred is the one that's actually like the good one. <sighs> it's really difficult. I wish I could be a bit more consistent. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember my Yuta Yuta Okotsu Yuta uh, fan art. I I think I spent like ten to twenty hours just getting the composition. <laughs> I think it was a... I spent like a whole night. Yeah, it was definitely around like 10 hours. And at the end of those 10 hours, I, I had a sketch. <laughs> Not even a basic sketch, but like... A, wait, let me, let me show it to you. Um, where was it? Yeah, this... I think this was the sketch. I had. After 10 hours. Can you imagine? Yeah, I was I was working on this, like all of this flip-flopping kind of stuff for a really long time. Oh, this inspiration. I couldn't figure it out how to make it look good. I wanted it to look ominous but bright and have a good like value structure. Yeah, so in the end that's what I went for. <laughs> it's nothing like the initial one, but it took me such a long time to do. Meanwhile, this took me like 30 minutes! And I was like, oh yeah, that's actually good! <laughs> uh, fuck my life. A sketch, you'll say. I could never... Yeah, it was a, it was a really rough draft. This is a... Uh, well, actually, this is kind of cleaned up already. But sometimes the sketches already like... Already look so good, you only need to clean them up. Like this one. This one was turned out pretty nicely. Pretty early on. So I didn't really have any like big troubles doing this. That's how it be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Being an artist is kind of a struggle. <laughs> hey. Okay. That's the jacket. Let's do the skin. I'm drawing, uh, I'm using weird colors again, just so, uh, I can see the differences. The different, um, color blocks. <gasps> oh, have you seen the new Chainsaw Man trailer? I, I kind of knew that, w that they would go for, uh, Tsudaken. For Kishibe, you know, it, it was a great choice, <laughs> as usual. So, uh, yeah, Twitter did win. It did go like crazy. They were like, "Yes, Tsudaken! <laughs> it's Kishibe. It was perfect." But I was, I was so happy to see more of like Aki, the best boy. Uh, I really like Aki's voice. Yeah, I think I, I might have to think for, for people who have like really nice and like calm sounding voice. Maybe it's because uh, it's kind of like the exact opposite of me. <laughs> I tend to be the loud one, the loud and obnoxious one. In like social settings, so I appreciate it when someone has like a calm but still clear, clear voice, you know? I have a few friends. We have a very quiet voice. It's so quiet that I always have to ask twice. I'm like, what? What did you say? And they repeat themselves. And they're almost mumbling, you know? Yeah. He's an alien now. <laughs> yeah. It's... He won't be for a long time. He, he won't be for long. I'll... I'll fix him. Oh yeah, you've seen it. Nice, nice, nice. Honestly, Chainsaw Man is, is looking really good. Oh, also, I found out about, like, Chainsaw Man is so fucking extra. They have a different ending, uh, ending song for each episode. And the lineup is also crazy. They're, like, huge artists. 
and everyone is doing an ending song and I, I'm sitting there, I'm like, ah, oh, are the animators getting paid enough? <laughs> is this, is this where the budget for the animators is going? <laughs> Into the songs? Shouldn't you be paying your animators? I hope they are being paid well. You know, honestly, I'm kind of scared, but I, I think they outsource a lot of stuff. So maybe that's why they can afford to do so. Yeah, I saw that. I recognized all of the artists except like two or three. Yeah, same. I'm honestly, I'm also really happy that um that uh, Eve gets to do another um anime opening, well, ending song this time. But yeah, I, I still remember when I was uh, when he was still like. In the Utaite scene, I guess he still is, but he's become more of like a like official musician now. <laughs> if you if you can say that, and um, everyone was like, "Man, when is this guy gonna sing like an anime opening?" And then then he did Jujutsu Kaisen op opening, and everyone was like, "Yes, finally!" It was such a great moment, honestly. I was so proud of this uh, this artist. <laughs> But I'm proud of them. And now they get to do another one. Well, I think they did a few like movie OSTs already in between in between this, but it's it's nice to see them like getting the success that they deserve. And then of course Amy and Kushunir. Like Yeah, great big artists. Big big artists. And of course, like a few other ones that I don't remember. Oh, Canaria, Canaria as well, right? The the person who who did songs like King. <laughs> you are King. Eve is popping off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really happy, and I really liked Eve's style for a long time. And still, I still listen to uh, lots of uh, older songs from them as well. I really liked um the songs from the uh, drama dramaturgy 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 <laughs> just kidding uh, outside uh, dramaturgy and uh, what what else was our last dance that era yeah yeah I I don't, just don't know the rhythm how to pronounce it dramaturgy 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 Dramaturgy. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it in German, but in English it's it's kind of different. I feel like German pronunciation is really really easy because it's always um the second last syllable that is um like emphasized. How to English with milk? No, how to German with milk? I can I can I can teach you German. German's actually not that difficult. Except, well, uh, uh, actually it is a bit difficult because it has so many like stupid rules that don't follow any reason at all. It's just, yeah, we have this rule because we, we can. <laughs> but surprisingly, I don't, I don't know why, but for some reason, I've never had any like difficulties when it comes to grammar and stuff. So yeah, I always had like really good like my writing and uh yeah i guess just my grammar skills were really good you can't you can try but i won't remember anything <laughs> that's why all you need to know is that scheisse <laughs> like shit you you can use shit scheisse is shit <laughs> okay <laughs> uh. And it's it's used the same way as in English. You can you can you can uh, add it to every word. But the really fun thing about German is that you can just like add words. <laughs> like you can just take a, a bunch of words 
line them up and make a new word. So whenever you don't know how to describe it, <laughs> to describe a thing, you can just make a new word. Like, you could you could say like this octopus man character. I don't know. And then just add a lot of adjectives and like nouns and it'll be a it'll be a title. <laughs> Funnily enough, you know what, I I don't know if I told you, but I gave like English lessons before when I was in, uh, when I was still in college, you know, to get, to get a few extra bucks each month. So, uh, so I was teaching English. <laughs> kind of, kind of ironic. <laughs> Now that I think about it, since I can't like pronounce for shit, but my students were so bad at English that sometimes I'd I'd be at a loss for words. You know, so because English and German pronunciation isn't that different. A different. It's just a few like tweaks here and there. Like you have an A and instead of A we just say A. Ah, right? So once you know all these little differences, you can just read it. You can just read it. Like you would read normally, right? And the English alphabet even has like a few letters less. <laughs> it's so weird because sometimes my my students they would see some uh they would see a word, you know, and I wouldn't even mind if they if they pronounced it. As if they were reading like German, but they sometimes they just make some shit up, <laughs> and they're like, you know what? Maybe in English we pronounce the I as you, and then suddenly they they yeah, they are so weird. <laughs> they're like, why why not just read it like a German would? You don't have to invent new pronunciation. You can just you know make a mistake and I'll correct you. <laughs> it's it's fine. I think someone also something that's really common is um people messing up who and how who and how that was so confusing to me because one of my students he he'd see this word and he'd go how and I'm like why why would you how <laughs> and then he he's saw so this this word next and he'd go who and i i did not understand i'm like even if you read this in german it would be ho you know like ho 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 and then you'd you'd be able to like deduct oh it's not ho it's how and this is you know in german you'd, you'd do something like wo or fo or something i don't know and then you'd be like, oh, this doesn't make sense. You'd, you'd pronounce it like who? And yeah, they just invent new shit. And one time, one time, one of the Canadian... So, so I wasn't the only, uh, only English tutor at that, um... I don't know, studio, school, whatever. And, and that was actually like a native Canadian guy who also taught. I guess he was like a... I don't know. It was convenient for him to, to travel and um, teach English wherever he, he went because people always need to learn English. And then uh, one day my student was going to the toilet, you know, he was going to the bathroom for, for, a, for a little tinkle, <laughs> okay? And um, the Canadian teacher, uh, he, I think he needed to get a, a book, an exercise book or something. And then he looked at, he came out of his room, and um, because the the doors were, the, the acoustics on that studio were terrible. Okay, so you could hear everyone, you could hear everyone's like lessons. And he looked at me, he he, he told me like, honestly, if I were you. 
I wouldn't know what to do with this student either. So I, I kind of feel for you. And I, I, I was sitting there, I was like, oh, so it's not because of my inexperience or because I suck as a teacher. It's just, okay, okay, I see. That kind of made me feel better, but at the same time, it also made me feel worse. <laughs> uh, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to like talk shit about my student. It's just, it was, it, honestly, he was like one of the most difficult students I ever had. I literally had to gamif like gamify everything and make it so easy that even like my four year old, my four year old cousin could understand. That student is just difficult, yeah. I was gonna criticize, but I literally spent like three minutes early this morning being confused on which buy to use. Oh no. Wait, isn't there only one buy? But you know that that student was so difficult. I li he he didn't even know what a subject or a verb was. So I had to show him subject, verb, object. I had to make him do a, like a table like this, and then he'd have to fill out these things to form sentences. He was in 10th grade. He was like 16 or something. He was barely a, a year younger than me. Well, let me let me turn off the game widget. I don't think you're you're playing anymore. So, I had to I had to make him do stuff like I eat an apple. I go home. You know? And it's so stupid. I I I made him. <laughs> I was so frustrated that day. I made him go through um the uh, dictionary and just pick out any words. And then because like in in a dictionary they they have like words like go and then in brackets they'd have like verb. Okay. <laughs> And then stuff like, I like, I don't know, bugs. So he had to do this kind of exercise to understand the grammar. And I was like, dude, this is a whole math formula. Formula. You, you just need to follow this formula and you'll be fine. <laughs> I think it was, maybe he was trolling. Maybe he was trolling. He was just like acting, acting dumb because he didn't want to like do anything. And just sit there and like listen to me talk or something. That that must be it. I I don't see any other way anyone would be like actually the stupid, you know. There's bye 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 ah oh, <laughs> that bye okay. There's bye bye. Wait, there's bye. There's bye bye. <laughs> there's boy. There's bye. Is it B? Do you say B or bi? I guess you say bi, huh? Bipolar. Well, bipolar and bi bi, which is bi, but cuter. <laughs> I honestly forgot most of this stuff from grammar. Yeah, I mean, if you're fluent in a language, you don't really think about the grammar. And I guess, uh, I guess that's why I was pretty good at grammar because I always had to pay attention to it. I guess. Maybe it's because I tried to learn uh, Japanese early, when I was uh, pretty young. And um, that had such a different like grammar structure, that if you didn't know about grammar, you wouldn't understand. So if you know your own language's grammar, it's way easier to learn other people's grammar. Other languages grammar. It's honestly really interesting. <laughs> Uh, can I just make this uh, very deep red? No, well, let's keep it black. Actually, let's keep it black. <clears throat> but let's make this red. Except for, for his head, maybe. Say like, bye. <laughs> I 
say buy like buy. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. In German, it's it's just B. Uh, yeah. So that's why it's it's easier. <laughs> about the years I kept confusing B and D. Oh, what? <laughs> when did, when was that? Well, I mean, they do sound pretty similar. So, sometimes you just mis mishear some uh, things because of the similarities. Only the lower... Oh, eh? oh that's interesting. You know what, actually? Mm, I also had uh, difficulties with that when it was small. I think I had difficulties uh, writing the L. <laughs> because I, I didn't understand in what direction the, uh, the L would go. So yeah, I struggled with that. At some point, I, I think I gaslit myself into thinking I had a like left and right weakness or something. Chainsaw Man! Hi, Minty! Yes, Chainsaw Man! <laughs> I'm drawing Yoshida. Because I had to jump ship. I'm, I'm, I need to think about um, what lighting I want to go for. I want it to be... Kind of like this? When it wasn't... When it was like in first grade. I can't remember if it, uh, if it was that way in kindergarten though. There was a time I confused the direction of the number 3 as well. <laughs> I see, that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> what, I think, yeah, you know what, that's good. This is good, but I only need to lighten it a tiny little bit. Yeah, 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 and this can be... You know what, yeah, this could be almost pitch black, but I need, I need a little bit of room so I can shade this, this hair. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about his, uh, his shirt. His shirt should be the same, same shade of black. Shouldn't have done this. I need to erase. Erase all of this color. There we go. I think I'm gonna use a lot of like textured brushes for this. line art, the sketchy sketchy line art is kind of in the way. So I just... Mm, I'll deal with it later. Also the times I unknowingly misspelled my last name I didn't know my birthday. I'd always changed the birth year to fit the current one. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, I think I had a, I think I had something similar. I, I feel like I haven't unlocked that memory yet, but I feel like there was a similar thing that I did. But I, <laughs> oh, I found out in like seventh seventh grade that uh, Vietnamese names, like each word, only has a single syllable. Okay, so. When I found that out, I was like, wait, that means my, my last name is wrong on all of my, like, documents. <laughs> it's because of the rhythm. The way my mom always, like, said my name, it always sounded like my, my last name and my last, um, so my last first name and my last name, my, my surname. I, she she kind of like did it in such a way 
that these two words blended into each other, so everyone thought that part of the, the last part of my first name was part of my last of my surname. <laughs> and then in seventh grade, I had to uh, change all of my documentary uh, documents to uh, like correct that mistake. <laughs> Uh, I found out that half of my surname was actually <laughs> part of my first name. And my mom was like, oh, well, I don't know. I never paid attention to this. <laughs> and I was like, mom, but we're supposed to share the same surname. You know, you're my mom. Why is your... <laughs> Her personal documents, like, had it um, the correct way. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess she just invented a new last name for me. But I was I was kind of scared of the government. I was like, oh no, what if, if there's like something going wrong and it will have repercussions and stuff. So I just like, uh, I corrected everything. And now I guess if someone ever wants to see my like first to fifth grade, sixth grade, um, like, you know, my, my grades, they'll... I'll have to answer them why there's a different name <laughs> on there. I, I wonder if it, like, if people think I'm like a fraud or something because of this. Oh, when your own mom named you but doesn't catch the errors in how you write your name. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. And then I told my friends and they were like, what? Wait, what? Uh, wait, I didn't tell all of my friends, I, I think. So some sometimes... People still, people still are surprised when I some, when I say like, oh yeah, my last name is like this and that, and they're like, wait, I thought your last name was this. I'm like, yeah, I found out in some grade that it's wrong, <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? And then they have to change um my name in their contact. Chainsaw Man, yeah. <laughs> I saw you, Minty. I saw you, Minty. Who's your favorite character in Chainsaw Man? If you if you have one. I think I need to add a bit of like color variation. Sample brush, let's go. That already looks better. Shadows can be even darker. These, on the other hand, should be a bit lighter. I've never actually drawn like tentacles or anything, but I think. They shouldn't be too difficult to draw, right? Because they're kind of like moist. So you can add highlights and stuff. To make them look wet. Wet and moist. like something. <laughs> Maybe... Hmm... I did want it... I did want... a more greenish color, but... I kind of like this. I don't know if I want to make it dark. Let me try. I wanted it to look a bit more sinister, but... I don't know if that works. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what, that's... it's not that great. 
It's not that nice, but I think I'll keep the highlights. I'll keep those green. Keeping in theme with the things messed up, uh, I messed up as a kid, I, n I never memorized my home or mom's phone number, nor my address. Address. I never saw it as a problem. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I kind of can't see where this is going. I also have a few stories like that. But uh... Yeah, after a hu after an incident when I was um, how old was I? Like six or seven? Yeah, pretty young. I think I was six. I think I was six. I just started school or something. And um, wait, wait a second. Let me just reposition myself. <laughs> reposition myself. And uh, after that, I memorized my parents' phone numbers, and to this day, I, I still remember those numbers, even though, even though it, they changed the number already. <laughs> there would be times during the year when the principal, when the when the vice principal would call me in to ask for that info, and I'd always respond with an, "I don't know." <laughs> oh no. What happened after? Did you... Did you get, like, uh, reprimanded for that or something? I hear in, like, America you get reprimanded for a lot of things. Which also kind of, like... Are kind of stupid sometimes. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do here. I'll make this more intense. I want to make this octopus look really juicy. Let me, let me add it on top. Nice and juicy looking octopus. And then... Just a tiny bit of a glow. We should also add a few um, like reflections. Then again, I maybe I don't want to make it much more textured compared to Aki's. I wanted to keep it in tune with this one, kind of like a pear. But I feel like this would go really well with a with a bit more uh, texture. Maybe I'll retroactively add more texture to this one. Luminosity, maybe. What is it? Duration hue? I don't know. Brightness, maybe. Something like this. Yeah, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll find a way to add a bit of... Wait, could I... Couldn't I just... Do this, and then do it as an overlay. Oh, that's but that's pretty dark. Well, you can but barely even see the difference. But yeah, yeah, I'll think about a way um, how to add some more uh, texture to this one. Second sister also attended the same school as me, and I, and there, and always had it memorized. So I still never saw a reason to memorize it. But the thing is, no one ever told me beforehand that I needed to remember it. Nor did I ever have a reason to use the info. Even then, I've always had a hard time memorizing things I don't have an interest for. So any attempts to memorize it, oh, would end, oh, it would end in failure. Isn't memorizing just like a matter of um? Like, repeating it over and over again. <laughs> That's what my parents made me do, you know? My mom was like, yeah, if you want to memorize it, do it at least ten times. At least. And then she'd, like, randomly check me. At, like, random times of the day. <laughs> I am. Um... 
I had to like I had to memorize my parents' phone number and that's also when I got a, my first key to the house and a, a, a cell phone. Uh, it was in sixth grade and my my parents were like business people, okay? And I I remember them talking about um Wait, okay, okay, so so I I had someone always picking me up from school. It was basically a service that took me to like after school lessons or like after school thingy. I, I don't know what what you call it in English. I don't even think there's a word for it, but after uh, so when you finished school and you you can't go home because your parents are still working and stuff, that's like this after school thing. It's basically not a, not a club, but it's it's like a kindergarten for for <laughs> for older people, okay? Um so I basically had a driver pick me up every day to drive me to to that uh, to that place, and I think the driver like forgot one day. They they just forgot me. I I waited a good half an hour or something, or maybe an hour. I don't know. That's what it felt like. And oh, you're going home soon, so I gotta leave. Oh, I see. That's too bad. And then I will. Wouldn't work either. It's also why I have trouble with map. Oh, the information just, yeah, just exits like it goes in one ear and leaves out the other, huh? That. Uh, oh, what did I just do? Ah, there we go. Yeah, take take care. Take care. <laughs> you you're always staying at your sister's house because of the Wi-Fi, huh? When do you think you'll get like Wi-Fi back at home? I. Uh, do your parents just think like, oh, you know what, this is kind of working. <laughs> we Maybe we don't need Wi-Fi at home. Yeah, anyways, my, my driver kind of forgot uh, forgot about me that day. I, I mean, it happens, it happens. And me being a, a pretty clever six-year-old, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I kind of remember the way back home. I can just go back home by myself. So I, I did. I went back home by myself. No one was at home because of course my parents were busy and working. So I sat there on the porch. I was like, you know what, I can just wait. Doesn't matter if I have to wait until the evening. And uh, I lived in a very like uh, safe area and um, like at the very like end in the last street of that like quarter. So I, I just had to wait. And then while I was sitting on the porch, uh, twiddling my thumbs because I didn't know what you know when my parents were gonna g get home because usually they they do get home pretty late. Um, I realized I heard I heard them talking about how they were going on a business trip to Italy, and I think they they talked about uh, going to Italy for like three weeks. And I think I didn't remember what day they were supposed to go, so I was like, oh my god, no, what if? Oh no, did they leave for Italy? Already? <laughs> today? Was it today? So I was sitting there, I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck, how am I gonna get in? Do I, do I have to sit outside for like three, three weeks? What am I gonna do? And um... I was thinking, thinking about where to go. <laughs> and then um... Usually... After I've arrived at that like uh... You know, after school plays, my nanny would, <laughs> my nanny would come and pick me up. My granny, honestly, she's, she's like a grandma to me, okay? Like my German grandma. She, she'd come and pick me up. <laughs> and um, I kind of, I don't know. I vaguely remembered the way to her house. So, I didn't sit in front of uh, the porch. I, I started like leaving. And um, because I had to, when I, when I wanted to go to her place, I'd have to go by the tram and train and bus and stuff. And uh, I mean, I did that often enough that I uh, memorized the way, but no, it's still kind of dangerous for a little child, child to go by themselves. So I basically uh, went on an adventure to half of my, uh, half of the town. And uh, luckily, Right before I was, uh, right before I arrived. <laughs> but let me tell tell the story this way. So, um, 
I arrived at my granny's house and uh, I rang the doorbell and no one was answering. So at that point, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of despairing. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I am a lost child. I have no adult to feed me and care for me. And I was, I was about to cry, honestly. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then uh, at that, at that moment, my granny, like, like the hero that she is, she grabbed me and was like, what are you doing here? How did you get here? And um, that, that's when I started crying, I think. I was like, nobody picked me up from school and mom and dad are not at home. <laughs> They're on a business trip, so I didn't know what to do. So I, I, I came here and she was like, uh, I think she just left. Um, to pick me up from like after school and she saw me um, walking outside she, she was sitting inside of the bus and she saw me walking outside and it was pretty lucky because I was dressed uh, in pink from head to toe and I had this iconic uh, pink umbrella with me and she was like wait that's an Asian kid in this white neighborhood it can only be my protege <laughs> yeah yeah, you know what? That's that's one of those moments where 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 I think uh, being Asian was uh, advantageous. <laughs> uh. So yeah, she she picked me up, and uh, I think she did give the driver an earful. And after that, my parents gave me like a phone for emergencies like these, and and a key to our house, so that even if someone doesn't pick me up, I can just go back home and get in. <laughs> Stupid story, I know. Okay. That, uh, you know what? Maybe that's a bit too dark. We don't want that much attention up here. So maybe this shade will be just enough. Looks like Otaku Girl left. See you next time. Maybe she'll join once she's back home. Okay. Octopus tentacles. Wait, I, I think I need a bit of reference. Uh, octopus tentacle. Recipe? No, no. I, I don't want a recipe. I, I want reference. Oh, that's actually... Oh, there's two rows. Damn! I actually... Wait, wait, this is actually cooked, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, it's got a lot more, like... Texture to it than I initially thought. I guess that'll make it more interesting, but the question is... How do I... Draw oh, all of that. It's two row of the of these. Should I just add another row over here? Row, not roll. Row. I guess having a, a pattern throughout the whole composition is not bad. I just have to paint it properly. You know what? I think that works. It works out. this no not yet not yet let me let me paint in some basic detail to this guy's face and then one 
since I have that. I'll just merge everything and, and then just go over it in its entirety. I'm too lazy to mask everything out. thinking about, you know, maybe trying out Twitch, streaming on Twitch as well, instead of YouTube, but I, th I think there's a lot of controversy <laughs> around Twitch uh, lately, something about uh, ads, ads being ve very intrusive and uh, people not getting Get, wait well not 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 getting paid but getting paid way less so it kind of it's kind of scaring me away <laughs> well I guess I'll try it someday someday just for shits and giggles. I wonder how dark I want this to be. Like this. I definitely need to clean this up before I... Before I start rendering. Okay. I really, honestly, I really like these kind of um, hairstyles that cover the, the eyes a bit and cast the eyes and shadows. I don't know why, but it's so nice. But then in real life, when you have bangs, they always get in the way. <laughs> So I don't know how people can live with um, like bangs covering their eyes, because it, to me it seems like it would be really like bothersome and annoying to always have like hair covering your your vision. Like my vision is already so so bad. I don't I don't need to give me even like more of a handicap. I'm already like almost blind. <laughs> Not really, but. That's what it feels like. Like minus 30% on both eyes. <laughs> Surprising? Ah, no, you know what? No, I shouldn't. No. This is a better tone, better hue. It's more adequate. It's a bit more pinkish. So it suits the tentacles and stuff. Hand. Mm 
Okay, that's... That's that, I guess. Should I add a bit of, uh... Bit more color on his face. Give him a, a blush. Maybe a gradient. Like this. A very, a very soft one. I think, I think that's, that's necessary. He needs one. Otherwise his face might uh, feel a bit flat. I'm trying to use a bit more, a few more gradients now. I'm always kind of scared of gradients. I don't know for why. I don't know what the reason behind it is. But I like to go for hard edges. Maybe it's because I, I don't really have much control over them. And I don't want anything to blend in too much with like different elements. Because sometimes when you use too many gradients, it kind of like muddles your uh, composition and stuff. Maybe I'm afraid of that. <laughs> Who knows? That should be good. Let's just um, turn the color wheel a bit. Make this a bit more gray. Not forget about the jacket. Honestly, I feel like for clothing, it's you can um, just be a bit more um, rough and abstract with the way you uh, add shadows and color variation just because I don't know <laughs> just because you can you can carve um you can carve the folds and make tweaks so it looks good even though it might not be perfect whereas uh, with faces and stuff I feel like because we are so used to seeing faces that even the tiniest mistake is um like it's visible. Everyone can see it. <laughs> so I'm always I always try to be especially careful when drawing faces, but when it comes to clothing, I'm actually like really rough and sloppy. And it still works out. It still works out. For the hair. I think I can add a layer. This one is do it. And a dark layer like this. Because that kind of looks good. <laughs> oh, do I add a layer of highlight like this? Maybe it should be both. <laughs> both. Both is good. His hair color right now kind of reminds me of a uh, Fire Emblem's Violet. Maybe it's because of the green. I don't know if I should add a highlight like this. Does it look better if I take this, um, this darker thingy away? Mmm! Difficult! A difficult choice. I kind of like this. Maybe I don't need the maybe I don't need the highlights at all. 
Mm. Yeah, this makes his hair look a bit too too round for my taste. So I guess I'll go with this. Okay. Take a really quick break. Get myself something to eat and drink. I'll be right back. I hey, wear my shoes. Wear my slippers. I wonder should I should I leave this on screen or should I? You know what? While I'm away, you can you can play tic tac toe. <laughs> Have fun playing tic tac toe. Don't forget to uh, type the play command first. <laughs>
Oh, ich bin so lang schon schafft. Lass ihn eine Peanut Butter Jelly Sandwich. So gut. Shit, why is it so cold? <laughs> Get a blanket. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I can finish this up <clears throat> a bit more quickly. Paint blah. forgot? No. I don't think so. I think I can just start the paint over. It's my round brush. Hmm. Should we go for this brush instead? Yeah, I think that's the most uh, comfortable one at the moment. It's easiest to control for me. Should have designed these folds in a better way. Hiro Fumi. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Isnik. Wait. Oh, wait, that's not an. That's not an E. It's a. It's an L. Do I pronounce your? How do I pronounce your username? <laughs> He's not gonna lie. word starts with with a K. Good. No, that's that's a C as well. Credit? <laughs> Just not gonna lie, K. Okay? Oh, I see. Thank you. You know what else is re looking really good? Your ma- No, just kidding. Um, You, you're looking really good. You're looking really cute. I'm sure you're a snack yourself. drawn what is this the weirdest fold that I've drawn in my entire life my, I can see my art career crumbling <clears throat> just from not being able to draw a single fold what is this You know what? That 
That looks decent. Man, I really should use this brush more often. It's probably because of the light blending that it looks <clears throat> that it looks a bit more natural. I'm used to using all of these like hard brushes that makes it that make it really hard to blend. So suddenly having the privilege of being the privilege of blending it's it's kinda nice. It's kinda nice to have, not gonna lie. But hey, I gotta be careful not to overblend. Because you can render things to death. the shadows but I, I guess if I made this red it would blend in a bit too much so let's go for this in between color for now I don't need that much contrast in this area maybe just enough so you can see a bit of a uh, Weediness. The volume of the cuff. Mm. Yeah, I definitely need to work on this. <clears throat> I think I want to sharpen this this corner yeah yeah that's good enough maybe I should not do this favorite midnight snack or something a light a late night snack i've been eating really late lately recently like it's 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 so bad sometimes i make food at 3 a.m so uh yeah if you have any recommendations for foods that I should make at 3am, let me know. I can't keep eating peanut butter jelly sandwiches and quesadillas, you know? Oh, I could make some fried rice later. I only have eggs. I could make... I could make egg fried rice, but not, that's not very satisfying, is it? I want at least a little bit of meat in my fried rice. Like a sausage or something. A bit of spam. <sighs> Living in Germany, the land of beer, bread, and sausages. And I don't have a single sausage in my house. Food delivery this late. It's like one. It's one a.m. <laughs> I think there should be a tiny bit of bounce light. Uh, maybe not bounce light, but just light passing through his sleeves. 
Let me just lighten this. This tiny part. This is like polish. Polish area. Which I shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing this now. I should be doing that later. But here I am. Trying to polish. That kind of works. I really had struggle drawing this, um this hand but maybe I can just extend the part which is octopus and then it's easier to cover up this little finger doesn't need to be this long there we go there we go Let me take another bite and I'll know we'll know one's here. get really tiny huh maybe I don't have enough suction cups on this one I also don't want to draw the inside. Would that be considered the outside? Hmm. Well, I'll save it for later. Right now, I'll just focus on. Rendering his, his clothes, his arms and stuff. This was supposed to be black.
Okay, let me carefully... Carefully... Shade his fingers. We don't want to make them too fat, but we also don't want them to be too... Too skinny. We want Yoshida... To be... A well-fed... Boy. Okay. I still don't know what's... What's his deal. And I'm interested in the organization that's keeping an eye on... Itadori... And stuff. Yeah, like, honestly, who is he? Just remember him taking part in... Um, that one huge battle. But that's it, isn't it? It's when he dis he appeared and then he just like simply disappeared after. Back then he already did feel like a um, third party. Rather than part of the uh, like bro. But yeah, I don't know. He, he seemed a lot more carefree than everyone else. Maybe it's, it was just that. It also felt like he didn't really belong there, so he was just doing whatever he wanted to do. Got lots of finger. Sometimes because of the way this brush blends, things look a bit messy. Like this area, it's, uh, the colors are a bit muddled because of the black. I'm not sure if I like that. Maybe it's just part of the charm. Yoshida has indeed five fingers, and I'm glad I only have to draw four of them. Oh. Also, people always complain about drawing hands and stuff, but I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy it, but at the same time, I also dread and hate it. It, it is a very vague relationship. I guess, would this be considered a toxic relationship? <laughs> I feel like I need to... I need to blend this area out a bit. Uh, one of 
That's my useless talent. It is a talent. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think it's a talent, it's just genetic. But I haven't been able to sneeze less than three times at a time. It's very rare for me to for me to only sneeze like once or twice. It's always a barrage. I'm a machine gun when it comes to sneezing. I'm a sneeze machine. Dusted. I haven't dusted my um, office in a while, so that's most likely the reason. Just dust. But I'm so lazy. I have no Okay, well, now that is a weird looking hand. things right or not but it looks kind of wrong it does look kind of wrong like yeah, let me just soften these two two bits That should be good. Oh, wait, I forgot about it. It's Pinky! Pinky Winky Pinky Dinky. Oh. I don't think we need this part of the finger. Do? I don't know why I'm so unsure. Oh, that looks all right. It kind of looks it's it's not correct, but it is. It is. It just is just exists okay now well, we have a hand i think it can add a, a few highlights to these folds maybe maybe if they were a bit more matte highlights to be really nice here but it doesn't really look like much so you know what let's let's do something else instead let's add a bit of bounce light to this area maybe not I feel like this this edge is a bit too jacked Too neat and too harsh.
Ah, oh, my back is killing me. I'm so fucking old. Just stretch. Oh, yeah. mm. Okay. So, his jacket, his jacket is almost done. Doesn't need to be too great. Just needs to be. It's the fold. Should we make this shadow really dark? Maybe it's a bit too much. I feel like it's a bit too much contrast. For an area that doesn't actually need to be that important. So my right hand is kind of twitching weirdly. I wonder why though, because I shouldn't be getting carpal tunnel on my right hand. I'm left-handed. <laughs> Maybe it's big. Maybe I need a better mouse. It's probably the mouse. I don't think I've used it all that much, to be honest. I don't know why it's just but it's probably just me not uh, exercising enough. Soften up this finger because that finger was a bit too pointy. And then just a tiny bit more detail to this one so we can actually see the nail. <clears throat> Honestly, that's good enough for me. I should clean this up a bit more. There we go. Oh wait, huh? Wait, I don't think I've figured out this this fold. Oh my god, your heart is amazing. Do you have any social media? Um, thank you, Pruy. I probably butchered that pronunciation, but that's nothing new. And uh, my, you can see my handle up here. <laughs> Very convenient to have a, have a mouse. Um, I It's the same for Instagram and Twitter, but I only, I mainly use my uh, Twitter. So, uh, yeah, I think the last post I did on Instagram was like three years ago. 
的呀。How how was your week? How did you how did you find the stream? <laughs> It's just just because of the uh, weird Twitch kind of um, controversies lately. <clears throat> I I just learned about how it's easier to find people on Twitch rather than YouTube. So I was wondering, do they pop up in your recommendations or something? Oh, the text is small. Oh 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 oh. Sorry sorry sorry. Sorry. Let me just write it in big for you. Um. I should check my stuff on on a on a screen on a mobile screen as well. Can I make this big? Ooh, yeah, I can make this bigger. Let me let me get it down here. It's kind of weird. Wait, what what is this? Reset transform. Yeah, yeah. Now it's down here. And then I can just edit it. Edit on size. I wanna. Is this better? This bit too big. It. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep it this way. <laughs> yeah, it's it's easier to. Ah, it's more easy to find an art stream at Twitch rather than YouTube. Oh, I see. I see. I did hear about um. I kinda like wanted to try going on, on Twitch as well, but I'm such a I'm such a fucking boomer that learning new technology and getting used to new platforms is kind of too much of a pain. <laughs> and also, I think doesn't Twitch have um these weird ads on it now? You know, I just heard people like complaining about it. Where when you you're on Twitch now, and uh, whenever you enter a stream, you get like an unskippable ad, a loud one at that as as well. I was watching some Chainsaw Man videos and your live shows at ah, and my recommendation. Ah, I see, I see. I guess it's because I put Chainsaw Man in the title, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I clickbaited you onto coming into my stream. <laughs> yep, the ad hell is horrible at Twitch. Mm, I see. Yeah, that's why I, I don't know. It's kind of like it doesn't it kind of scares one away. It's like not that it's scary or anything, but it kind of makes you hesitate. I wanna do you do you still I mean you're on YouTube right now, but do you still use Twitch regularly? Despite those annoyances? I've always been a YouTube person, so I haven't really seen Twitch. It just looked really messy to me, so I was like, oh my god, how do I even navigate this this <laughs> It's fine, I really love to watch art streams. Sorry if my English is bad because it isn't my first language. It's fine, your English is, is pretty good. <laughs> Not that I I would be able to give like an accurate uh, opinion on it because English isn't my first language either. <laughs> I feel like at this point I should be somewhat fluent just because I basically grew up on the internet, but my vocabulary is very limited. <laughs> it's my spoke I I'd say my spoken vocabulary is very limited. I think I can read academic texts and understand them without like much trouble. But if I'm if I'm here trying to hold a conversation, suddenly my my head just goes blank, and the only vocabulary I have is is beep boop. Oh, 
I'm already cleaning up the tentacles, even though I I wanted to uh, clean up his sleeves first. Another day of milk getting distracted. What's new? I swear to God, if I if I had proper focus, it would be over for you. I'd be dominating the world. But God knew, if I had focus and conversation skills, I would have been too powerful. God nerfed me so that you could run. <laughs> okay, that's his hand. It's done. Ah, well, now that I zoomed out, maybe it's not done. Just lighten up this area a tiny, tiny little bit. There we go. Fuck. There we go. And then... That's it for his... Clothes and sleeves, I guess it's decent enough. I think I should start with his neck. So that when that is clean, I don't have to worry about having to navigate around um, brush strokes that I already made. Honestly, I don't know if I like the painting approach, but it's the only thing I can do consistently. <laughs> to be an artist who can do line art but <laughs> I'm not clean enough I I'm not organized enough to to do line art and I don't have the patience to to draw pretty line art you know this is yeah this is the closest to line art that you'll ever get from me <laughs> Here we go. I don't think I'll be adding a zipper. Does his jacket even have a zipper? I'm not sure. Add a bit of a bounce light into these shadows. What's going on over here? Is this neck? Is this hair? What are you? I think it's hair. Okay, this is hair. The, see, this is what I don't like about um, the painterly approach. You always have to... Um, correct whatever you draw and that leaves messy messy spots and edges but I guess it does give your drawing some sort of roughness that seems very organic I don't know I want clean illustrations too but this is all I can manage it's good enough though it's good enough me trying to delude myself <laughs> okay wait I should I should put his hair on a different layer and uh, start with this his face first I'll have to turn off this layer um, sooner or later If you're, if you're still here, I wanna 
do you what do you do when you watch art streams? Do you do you draw as well? Do you play games? Do you? I don't know. I don't I don't personally watch many art streams. I usually just drop by, hop in for like five seconds, and then I leave. Because I feel like I don't have the time to actually watch them. So I occasionally just glance over. And a lot of artists are also um, quiet. <laughs> you know, they, they have no mic on and they just chat with the chat. They type. So, so I don't really know what's going on in their heads. I'm probably mistaken because I'm not on on Twitch. <laughs> I'm sure on Twitch everyone talks. <laughs> it's just from my experience. There we go. I'm trying his uh his eye bags. I wonder how deep I should go. I don't want him to look tired or old, which is oh. Making him look really, really old. You know what? That's fine. This is fine. I wonder if I should give him a red pupil. Just for the sake of it, because it looks cool. to make his lips kissable. What makes lips what makes lips kissable? Is it the shape? Yes, yes, I know. I just deleted his teeth. Oh no. Oh no. What did I do? Is it, is it lipstick? <laughs> Whenever I draw like the guy's um, lips, all I can think about is Gojo's lip gloss. Like why are his lips so shiny? Why was it necessary to make his lips so shiny when he looks perfectly fine? Oh god. I'm making mistakes right now. And I'm regretting my life decisions and life choices. Oh... Oh no. Oh no, I'm but... <laughs> I'm butchering him. We just... I'm sorry, I'll, I'll remove that lip gloss from your, from your lips, sir. What is it? I want to draw kissable lips, but it's not. It's it's it's, it's not working out. It's not going my way. Okay, let me let me zoom out. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> that's not it. That really isn't it. We just... Now that I look at his old lips, it also looks weird. Do I like his old lips more? I probably like them more because they have a bit more contrast. So, let, let me try and add that back in. Oh, 
that works. That works. I can see. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, wait. Instead of this dark of a red, let's just do a bit of a lighter color. Just, just enough so it um emphasizes this line. That's all the lip gloss you'll ever get. Okay. Um, do I need to place this mole in an? No, no, it's fine. The mole is fine. Okay, time for his chin. Let's do some chiseling. got that v-line v-shape so he doesn't need any plastic surgery no jaw surgery perfectly fine specimen of a anime boy okay here we go I think I need to fix this section where his jaw and his earlobe touch and where they connect. <gasps> you know when I first saw his um his earrings, his ears, it's because I just caught up to uh, Chainsaw Man. I didn't really pay attention to all of the characters, right? Because I was binging for the story. And when I saw this guy's ears, I was like, what the fuck are, what the fuck is wrong with those ears? Why are they why do they look like uh, Inosuke's sword? Inosuke's sword. Or maybe it was I don't I don't remember if it was Oh you know what? Actually I think it was before I uh, started catching up with Chainsaw Man, so I haven't actually seen him before and I just like hopped into one of the newest chapters and you know where he got his appearance in the new arc and um yeah because of the black and white values like his hair and his earrings blended in together so I thought someone had cut out holes in his ear but honestly it kind of looks cool his earrings are really nice, his piercings. Sometimes I think of oh, like I, I want I want piercings like that. <laughs> but just doesn't go well with my style. Hope I have a clean and feminine. No, not really, it's not that feminine to be honest. It's just like a very like business looking style. Fashion sense. So this would probably... this would be a bit out of... out of my comfort zone. Although it does look cool, yeah. Does it even matter if most of my... <laughs> they'd be covered by my hair anyways. Wouldn't even matter if I had... these cool earrings. Piercings. Are these... Would these only be considered piercings? Can you consider these earrings? Because technically it's a ring and then... <laughs> it is an ear... ring. But I feel like you only... You only call it an earring when you attach it to the lobe. To the ear lobe. I don't know. I guess it would usually be considered a piercing. Hmm. There you go. I gave him I gave him an ear. Been zoomed in for way too far too long. It's healthy to zoom out once in a while. But now that the sketch is actually looking uh, decent enough I think I can keep, I can stay zoomed in. Stay zoomed in, but uh, I guess I guess someone would want to see the whole image. So let me just uh, let me just make a new window, and I'll put it over here. Okay. Ah, there we go. 
so I can can work zoomed in on this side and you can still see the full image on the other side. I love technique. I also saw, saw artist Twitter cancelling Clip Studio Paint with the new changes they are making. Honestly, it didn't seem that bad. You, you can still obtain a new um, perpetual license. And who the fuck even uses all? I don't... I have not seen a single person who uses every single, like, new tool from the updates. You have all the important tools that you need. There's no need, honestly, there's no need to uh, upgrade or purchase the monthly passes for Clip Studio Paint from what I've, from what I have seen. I don't know if they're like bringing out um, any new like tools or features that are groundbreaking. Just delete this line. But I wait. Did I mess up the proportions? Should this eye be a lot longer? Fuck. Should have should his eye have been over here? Oh yeah, that looks eh? Is it better or am I just imagining things? extend his eye. It's good enough. Oops. Wanted the brush. Let's not forget about the color. I feel like I've I've gone over this part three times already. How is it still messy? Crush it to black. hair now. Hair is usually the easiest part. You can just follow the hair. Just add to the shadows. Keep a few spots light so it looks like it's some sort of like reflection and I don't know. Just go over here willy nilly. <laughs> I 
Okay, it's covering... It's covering his, his iris, his pu pupil. Do I want that? Maybe I do. Today, I do want that. This area light so I could still add a bit of black for definition. Honestly, I want to go like full on black, like in the manga. However, I think that would be a bit too too strong, a bit too flat. Even though black is is a color that you can use to deepen. You uh, to add a bit of depth to your drawing. Can also flatten it if you don't use it carefully. That goes for every color, honestly. Three dimensionality. One of his head is a bit too too round now. gives him a lot of like, like messy strands of hair but they're not the thing about this guy is his hair looks messy but at the same time it looks really neat and i don't know what kind of hairstyle that is <laughs> i can't replicate it so he feels he feels very different from the original it's really hard to capture this guy's uh Likeness. <gasps> oh, I could use that trick that everyone does right now. Using this hatching line and then just add a bit of texture. Sometimes when your art is really clean, just using a few like Strokes like this can make it look a bit more textured. But I haven't even finished, I haven't even finished um, rendering it. So let me do that first before I add any unnecessary strokes. And I think I'm gonna finish for the day, once I've uh, his hair because after then it's just the tentacles and I can do them another time dark green colors ah, it looks honestly these are the color of the night <laughs> colors of the night i don't know it's something about it it looks so shiny it looks really dark and shiny but I, I really like it maybe it's a it's because it has something like metallic to it. It has some sort of metallic quality to it. Oh, you know what? He actually has like the same hair shade as uh, Okutsu Yuta right now. Hmm, interesting. I 
wonder what shade, what hair color he is supposed to have. Because uh, I feel like black hair usually has a bunch of different um, like tones in anime. Sometimes it's this kind of like dark green and black. Similar to Midoriya from My Hero Academia. And sometimes it's just straight up like a really, really dark blue. I haven't actually seen anyone actually have pitch black hair. It's usually like black with some blue highlights or green highlights or red highlights. Sometimes it's purple highlights too. Yeah, sometimes black hair in, an in manga is purple hair in anime. Oh wait, I should soften this. This is a bit too strong. There we go. Okay, there's something missing over here. No, that's been too long, I feel. Wait, actually, never mind, never mind, that blended in a bit too much. Oh. I said hair was the easiest part, but... It's also the, the trickiest... No, not the trickiest, but the most tedious... To, uh... To render. Just because, it, like, it has so many... Strands of hair. It's so fiddly because of all of these like tips. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Should be a bit of a lighter hue. Not a hue, but I meant it should be a lighter color inside of the confines of the shadows. Just kidding. Uh, understand how the blending works. Some things blend in really easily. Sometimes it's really easy to draw simple black lines with this and sometimes it just it's just so transparent. I haven't figured out why. So I just add a, apply a lot of pressure <laughs> to wherever I want it to be a uh, more opaque. I think we've got enough of these. Wait, let me let me clean up these. I don't even know what these are called. These reflections, I guess. I guess they would be. Those would be reflections, huh? Okay. I haven't cleaned up these lines. Be better. Oh, 
Oh, oh, actually, yeah, you know what? I think this area would be nicer. Content raid. Is this... We are Japanese goblin at content raid. What is going on? What? <laughs> I don't... Who is... Who? who? <laughs> Welcome, I guess. But what is this? What is this? What is this? Are these bots? Is this... I'm so confused. What is going on? MM... MSM... What is MSM? <laughs> MSM content. <laughs> oh, it's a YouTube channel. I see. Welcome. My singing monsters. The fans raid, that's interesting. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Give nectar now, content raid. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, that's plenty of people. Wow. What did you do? What did content, Mr. Mr. Content do? What does MSM stand for? I just saw a duck when I was googling. When I was googling it two seconds ago. Ni hao. Yeah. Ni hao ma. Wo hen hao. Xie xie. That's the only thing I can say in Chinese. I don't even know it's if it's uh, whether it's Mandarin or Cantonese. Wow, it, it doesn't stop, huh? I didn't know that raids were a YouTube thing too. Hey, me, Goku. Hello, Goku. <laughs> oh, Kavi, thanks for subscribing. We have come for your nectar. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no nectar to give. I only have milk. The milk that the daddy is in the dungeon. Create. Anyways, have you guys been watching Chainsaw Man? Wait, it and nice drawing, thank you. Milk and cereal, damn, this is pretty quick. Do you guys, do you guys pour in the milk first or the cereal? Hmm? The answer should be obvious. Milk always goes first. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I put the cereal first. Cereal, yes, yes, cereals first. Who I, who would even put milk first? Isn't it such a pain for the cereal to uh, like float on top of the milk? And then you have to push everything down so it gets wet? Like, what the fuck? That's so inconvenient, ineffective. <laughs> oh, it's psycho, it's cereal, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering, because whenever you see like Twitter polls or something about this, it's always like 50-50 for some reason. I don't use milk when my dad left. <laughs> oh no. Do you always have a stack of milk? Never, you, you should never run out of milk, okay? Whenever you see like the last two packets of milk, you should always buy some more so your dad doesn't go out to buy it. <laughs> milk guys do you have you ever seen milk in a bag i accidentally bought milk in a bag once <sighs> i regret this too this to 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 this day Misha featherless you're a boy We're starting a cult. <laughs> what kind of cult is it gonna be? Hmm? A 
penguin called? Oh, did the did Miss MSM content? Did they play Cult of the Lamb? <laughs> Jesus, you're you're late to the raid. Look, everyone's already left. <laughs> Oh fuck, oh, oh no. That doesn't work. Hmm. Those are some thick lips. I feel like this guy, Yoshida's the type of person who has like thin lips. No thick lips. Thin lips. <laughs> oh man. MSM content raid. Maybe you're not the last guy. <laughs> See you on the other side. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so we leave now. Yes, you can. You guys can leave. <laughs> you don't have to stay for me if you're not interested. And eat us as superior to lions. How so? Wait, 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 wait. You should. You, and eater boy. You should stay and explain how they are superior to lions. And and eater is like. Vegetarian. Wait, if they're eating ants, would they still be considered like herbivores? <laughs> Are ant eaters considered herbivores or carnivores? They can kill lions? How would they kill lions? In a fight? In a fist fight? No, they are insectivores. That's a thing? Yeah, I should have paid more attention in biology class. The claws? How big are anteaters? They can slash a neck. Okay, but it's like... They have to be... They have to be really pre precise about it. Right? Otherwise... If they miss, it's kind of over for them, isn't it? <laughs> oh, welcome back, gobbly good. It's kind of like me saying, you know what, I can win in a, in a gun fight. If I can get a knife attack in, you know, I'll win against the police. I'll win against this school shooter. No, it's not really over for them. Are they really that big? Don't lions have like a size advantage? Hmm. Those are lips, indeed. Oh, interesting. I've never experienced a raid before. I mean, they can run, but are they faster than lions? Do lions even eat anteaters? They do. Oh, I see. If they are hungry. Hmm. Hungry. <laughs> yes. And there we go. We just... I don't know why I'm zooming in so much right now. I don't even need to do this. Should I make the eyebrows visible? Ooh. Nah, nah, nah. That's kind of unrealistic and looks bad too. And let me erase, erase this. I think that they can do something with the tongue. You mean lick? The lion? Sure, they could give the lion a good lick, but... The tongue probably isn't long enough to do anything, like, serious, right? There we go.
No, like choke. No, you don't think... You don't think... <laughs> you're not thinking about an anteater putting their tongue around the neck of a lion and choking them? Nah. <laughs> Gobbly good. Hey, okay, do you need a snack? <laughs> actually, actually, if you have any snack recommendations for like late night snacks because it's 2 a.m. Everything's closed. I can't uber eat. I can't like order any delivery food because in Germany everything closes at like 8 p.m. So, uh, do you have any ideas for a late night snack? Let me know. Doritos? <laughs> Good choice, but I am out of Doritos, unfortunately. It's a MSM thing. Oh, tell me more about that MSM person. Very interesting. Just because I've never like, I didn't expect anyone, anyone to rate, to rate me. Just because you know, I am. Must have popped up in his recommendations or something. All right, so. MSM is my singing monsters. <laughs> That's fine. Good game. Hmm. So MSM is a game where you collect monsters and make them sing. Oh, my singing monsters. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, now that makes a lot more sense. My singing monsters. Continue. and they are like islands with specific monsters. I'm seeing is this... Is, is it like... Do you battle with them or anything? Is it like Pokemon battles? Never heard of it before, that's why. It's complicated to be honest. Oh, I see. Hmm. Is it... Do you go around to collect them? I see. Mm. Only on the island. Is that... Is there anything else other than the island? Colosseum. A <laughs> Colosseum. Okay, you can battle with them. I am the Col Colosseum. I see. <laughs> Content rate. Oh, wait. I've seen you before, Pango. Don't, don't worry. You're a bit late now, but... Everyone else left already. <laughs> you feed them, collect coins from them. Oh. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. It's fine, everyone. Needs <laughs> to go sometimes. Let me see. Let me see. Does this work out? I just make this a lighter color. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see his hair, so yeah, I'll keep the light color. Pango snaps his beak and makes a custom. Ah, custanet sound. It's air pango. So every like every monster has a different a different sound to them. Honestly, that kind of sounds like a rhythm game. <laughs> uh, I do. That's honestly, that's really cute. It is a rhythm game. Oh, I see. It's rhythm. It's a rhythm game, but it's competitive. I see. Well, it's, it's battling each other. Because I think most rhythm games are competitive, aren't they? I mean, like those high scores and everything. You can breed monsters as well. Oh! How does that work? Do they... Do they inherit different sounds or does it just mix? There's also an app called Composer. Hmm. The only ones who speak different are the Weirdo and the Wubooks. Because normal rare and epic make a different sound. Oh, I see. Oh, they mix. 
That's interesting. So could you breed a monster that basically sounds like an orchestra <laughs> when it when it shouts? It's interesting. Yes, what about the app called Composer? What does that do? Oh, so you can use them to make music or something? They have elements. Mm. Well, that looks like... Oh, that kind of sounds like a really big game. Just from a like, game dev perspective. So many features. Let me draw this eye. And a bit of detail. Uh. <gasps> Wait, I forgot about this thing. There was... I saw a meme where you wanna... If you want to draw a, a crying anime girl... Or something, you draw an Amogus. Really big feet. That's what they said. Hey, let me let me try this. Let me try this real quick. Sorry if I'm getting like sidetracked, but they said draw big anime eyes. Draw an emogus. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. It's working? <laughs> it can't be. It can't be. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I just... It's it's kind of working, but let me let me add color. I wonder if it if it changes anything. She gets she gets red eyes. Huh? Huh? <laughs> wow! Some work of art. Amazing art. Thank you. <laughs> I'll draw something sassy. There we go. Does a Mogus have... Right, he does have... A backpack. And then really big shoes. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, we confirmed that drawing a Mogus into anime girl's eyes... Makes them cry. I can't believe that this theory worked. It's actually a thing that works. I think I should make this this highlight. I should make it green. Okay, maybe not. It's a bit too bright. I'm zooming in and zooming out really quick. I'm sorry if it if that makes you dizzy or something. Oh, wait. I think I missed some messages. Was made in. Wow, that's a pretty old game. I didn't know. So they ported it to PC a few months ago or something. Hmm. Anti that boy, did you? Hello, hello back. If I had a hand, I would wave back at you. Unfortunately, this model doesn't have a hand to wave back at you. There we go. Oh, I need to fix his um his eyelid. Today's still my singing monster's tenth anniversary. Oh. Oh. Damn, that 
that's an old game. How come I've never heard of it before then? How old was I back then? I was like 13. Isn't it? Doesn't didn't it exist around the same time as a Neo Neopets? Club Penguin and stuff? I don't think it goes to Oh, okay, you know what? That that might explain it, yeah. Yeah, I guess back in in those times I wasn't I wasn't very well versed. Very well acquainted with the internet just yet. <laughs> I was busy. I was busy playing sports. There's a baby version of my singing monsters. Oh really? It's called My Singing Monsters: Dawn of Fire. Wait, is that? Well, it kind of sounds like a sequel or something, rather than a mini version. Is it a spin-off or something, or is it just? Like, a stripped down version. And did I miss anything? I don't think so, but... This area can be completely black and I don't think anyone would mind. i just... Add some shading over here. This area a bit darker. Oh wait, no, this area is something I need to be careful about because I want to have clean edges, so let me just mask this out really quick. There we go. It's my same monsters, but all the monsters are babies. Oh no! So it's a cute version! Babies. <laughs> mm. Have you played it? Are you guys like very? In it seems you guys are pretty invested in that game. Although the community doesn't seem to be very big. Do you, do you play like other games as well? You probably do, but I mean, I just want to ask about what else you you also play. There we go. That looks clean as fuck. And then I just to clean up this this tiny area. Well, maybe not completely black in it, but. Oh god, I think I'm about to sneeze. Great. It's not coming! It's huge! Oh, I see. Man. The world really is big sometimes. Whenever you feel like you've, you've learned about everything, something, someone else comes and just shows you a, a new thing that you've never heard of before. My favorite animal. Hmm. I like wolves. <laughs> I've been influenced by uh, Princess Mononoke. So ever, ever since I, I watched that, I've really liked wolves. They just seem so majestic. And cool, you know? Yeah. Gotta go. Well, Ant Eater Boy. Thanks for teaching me about Ant Eaters vs. Lions. And uh... My singing monsters. <laughs> See you around! Oh, there's a wolf monster. That's nice. I feel like wolves are like one of the first things that people come up with. Just because it's... They're pretty close to dogs. Just a bit more, you know, rough. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. It's called socks. <laughs> Please tell me they're wearing socks. If they, if they call a monster socks and they don't give them socks, what are the game designers doing? Hmm? 
It's an ethereal island monster. Oh, I see. Wait, is the island called ethereal? <laughs> or is it just an ethereal monster? Okay. What's with this bottom tentacle? I don't think it's supposed to be black, right? No, no, actually it is supposed to be, to be black over here. <laughs> a bit of like a bond slide into this to this area I think I need to soften up this edge it's just it's just a bit too too intense the island is called ethereal oh I see I see socks is a sex of oh <laughs> I know it's a saxophone Wait, a, a wolf who's a saxophone? How does that make sense? <laughs> Wait, guys, talking about instruments, have you se have you seen the trombone? What's it called? The trombone master game? <laughs> what is it called again? Something trombone. It looks really fun. It's it's kind of like a rhythm game. It's really goofy too. It's very goofy looking. It sounds like those, um... Wait, uh, let me look for it. it. Sounds like those memes. Where you, where someone plays an instrument really, really badly. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. I think it was called Trombone Master or something. I can't find it. Did I not add it to my wishlist? Stupid. Man, there's so many games on my wish list that I haven't bought and played yet. But I also need I need more time and money to play games. I can't just play games and not do anything. <laughs> We're seeing monsters. New monster came out on the first first day of the tenth anniversary. Oh, wow! Why are there so? It seems to be doing well, huh? I've learned about an I've learned about a whole new franchise. There we go. Just adding these few gradients made such a huge difference. Already, hmm. Oops, maybe not from this side, but... Yeah, that looks good. Let me add a bit of a gradient to this area as well. And then... Oops! Should almost... Should look decent enough. I think I also need to add a, a shadow in this area, but I, I haven't decided on how intense I want it to be yet. Tromboning? Oh, a trombone! Be right back, I'm gonna check how m <laughs> MSM content is doing. Sure, have fun. Don't force yourself. This was sticking around. shadow head it over here as well oh now that i think about it wherever the um wherever there's a divot because of someone touching the um octopus should add some highlights around this area i 
I'm not very good at placing highlights, so I, I don't know how effective this is gonna be. He's raiding another person! Wait, I thought you'd... I thought people only raided, um... Once they finished stream. What are you guys doing raiding everyone? Are you recruiting people for your cult? <laughs> He's raiding an animator. MSM content is not mean for raiding, he meant for raiding. He just does it for fun. He tells us not to say rude stuff while raiding. Very responsible. Very responsible. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it is fun, yeah. It's also very surprising. Today's my first day being... You guys were my first. <laughs> I've never been raided before, so... I was very surprised. Well, for a moment I thought you guys were bots or something. I was like, wait, MSM content raiding? What, what does this mean? What does this mean? <laughs> uh, at least I know, I know for the future now of future raids. I doubt it'll happen again, but... <laughs> we raided someone who was new to YouTube and she was playing Gacha Life in Roblox. In Roblox! <laughs> There's a Gacha? There's Roblox Gacha? Well, I guess if it's kind of a sandbox game, then everything kind of exists in Roblox. I've played, I think the first experience I had with Roblox was a, a Roblox horror game and I almost shat my pants. <laughs> it was so scary! So she cut screen, she, sh she cut stream because she didn't know what raiding was. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, but, yeah. I sure she saw, she thought something was like she was being hacked or something by bots. <laughs> oh. oh no! Someone leave a comment under one of her videos then. Oh my god. I guess it raiding can go both ways, huh? I'm trying to make this look a bit more juicy, but it's it's not going too well for me. I hope that's... It's not gonna leave like a lasting impact on her motiva motivation to stream, you know? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of any like... Bad... Rating moments. But then again, I'm also kind of like a boomer, so... I don't really know much about the internet. And the youngins these days. But all of them do. Raiding other people's streams. Raiding usually is a, is a good thing, right? It's considered a good thing. I believe. From what I have seen at least. But then experiencing it myself is kind of like, it really was surprising because I didn't know how to react. I was like, should I just welcome you guys? But what do I, <laughs> how do I even explain, you know, when someone like comes in and raids, it's kind of, it kind of felt like your parents coming into your room <laughs> while you were doing something. And then you suddenly had to explain to your parents why you were doing what you were doing. <laughs> we're sorry though. No, 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 it, it was really fun, honestly. I, I liked it. <laughs> the attention boost that I got for two seconds, okay? I, I appreciated it. Don't be sorry for that. That's the fun thing about, you know, uh, the internet. I'm just saying it, it was surprising. <laughs> well, that's it. It's not a, it, it wasn't a bad surprise, you see. It was a pleasant surprise. I guess that is an octopus. Oh, leg? Tentacle? Tentacle. I suppose it's a tentacle. 
And this should probably be the color of his jacket. Ooh, or maybe not. Let's just tone it down a tiny little bit. Add a bit of ambient occlusion. I don't think I can finish the tentacles today. I think... I finished this another day, I, be I think. Hmm. Probably got just sub Thanks for subscribing! <laughs> I also rated a girl stream that was playing Doors and we, when we came in she was so surprised when she got like 100 and something subs. Oh wow! Wait, what was- is Doors a horror game or something? I feel like I've seen it before. Doors game- oh! Is it a Roblox game or- no. Short atmospheric first person logic game. Hmm! And then there's a Roblox Doors horror game. <laughs> it's a horror game on Roblox. Oh, I haven't played that one yet. Maybe I'll play it with some friends sometimes. But honestly, I kind of... Oh, oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's one of my useless talents. Sneezing for more than three times every time I sneeze. It's consistent. The only thing I'm consistent about. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I have the heart or the the nerves to play a Roblox horror game anytime soon. <laughs> Some of these games are really well made, okay? <laughs> uh, does adding this strand of hair ruin it? Improve it. You know what? Now keep it this way, and then I'll make the shadow a bit lighter. So it just frames his face a bit. But it doesn't blend in too much with this, his hair. Because that makes him look a bit too bulky. I don't want that. There we go. to paint on the other side. I think I've made a lot of good progress today. Let me, let me just check what, what this thing is. Is it just a tentacle? Is that it? I think it's just a tentacle. Oops, nope. Wrong layer. Let me let me lock this whole folder so I don't touch it by accident. And what, yeah, that that's good. bit of bounce light because there's lots of red going on here and it'll bounce around so you have a lot of lighter lighter shades in the in the shadow honestly i could also make a few like reflections and make it really really shiny but on the other hand i'm also i'm pretty lazy so i don't know if i'll Go through with it. I'm waiting for epic Wubux. 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 How do I pronounce that? To be on Gold Island. Oh, you're talking about a, a monster. Hmm. Oh, is it? Is it time limited? Is it like real time or is it just? K 
can you grind it? Or something. Oh, that's a bit too strong. You know what? This is good enough. I think I'll add a tiny bit of... And a bit of a room light. Maybe not. Okay, wait. What is this? Yeah, let me turn this off. And start with the inner. is usually a bit more saturated and only slightly brighter than the shadow it's not in the game yet oh so it's gonna to be, it's going to be like released hmm so there are like new monsters and uh, new updates and yeah do they also have like seasonal monsters limited limited edition monsters that are only available available for a limited time hmm. i can tell you all the islands in msm <laughs> sure go ahead oh they do have limited monsters seasonal oh i see wait it's it's not like gacha isn't it is it they're not doing it with loot boxes and stuff right like where you have to pull for them and hope for the best there's one called a hula blabbit is it a rabbit <laughs> i hope it's a rabbit that sounds really cute <laughs> it's a very cute name a monster So that has a hula hoop around them. <laughs> oh no! And what kind of sound does it make? Blabbit is a rabbit that spits bubbles when singing. Oh, <laughs> that sounds precious as fuck. What is it? And then a hula blabbit is a combination of those two, I suppose. not bad a suction cup I do have like a really dark center though yeah like this oh okay never mind well I guess I suppose you can breed them right if you can breed them you you'll be able to make a hula blabbit that spits bubbles while also using a hula hoop to make sound. Hula sings with a voice. Oh, I see. So the hula hoop, unfortunately, is not inheritable. Okay. Here we go. Octopus man. You could breed them on season shanty, but not on the islands. Oh, I see. 
Although I, I'm not sure what a season shanty is. <laughs> like sisters with Pom Pom. Is it a cheerleader monster? <laughs> Please tell me they cheer. Yes! <laughs> it is a cheerleader monster. I feel like cheerleading is such an American thing. I've never seen... Okay, well, actually, Asia does have cheerleaders too. It's not, it's not that big of a culture, I, I feel like. It's a Punkleton. What is Punkleton? It's already 3 a.m.? Holy fuck. I probably need to need to quit soon. <laughs> the fun thing is, I was I was about to end stream when you guys raided me, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Well, <laughs> uh, it comes around summertime. Oh, so those are the seasonals, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's fine, it just gave me a bit more motivation to uh, finish this to a point where I can say it's, it's almost done and only needs a bit of polishing. Right, if I, if I draw these suction cups, I'm almost, I'm pretty much done. Although, of course, I do have to do a bit of cleaning. It's a skeleton body, and it comes around Halloween. Oh my god, it's almost Halloween time already, right? Are you gonna dress up? Are you gonna dress up for anything? Halloween? I kind of wanted to dress up, but... I don't think I have like a proper costume. I did think- I think I have a few ideas saved up. <laughs> but yeah, I need some friends to do it with. Hmm! What are you gonna dress up then? <laughs> dress up as. Yeah, sorry if my grandma sometimes uh, just... It's just a little bit off. It's because I'm multitasking. Okay, and English clearly isn't my first language. Although at this point it should be my first language. <laughs> There's no excuses for me to make. Of course, gobbly good! Oh my god! Wait, where do you even get a costume like that? Are you going to make it like custom or... or are you trying to order it somewhere? Uh, uh, are you going for a budget? A budget costume. <laughs> Punkleton makes sounds with this voice. Hmm, I see. I'm gonna make it custom, and if it fails, I'll see if I can buy it. Oh, yeah. I feel like there's not... I feel like you'll have to do it custom either way. It seems... Let me take a look at it. It's this turkey, right? That kind of seems doable. It looks like a lot of work, to be honest. It looks like a pretty fun costume, though. I feel like you could, maybe you could commission someone to do your, to to make you a helmet. Or if you were a child, you could just, <laughs> you could just take a. Take a whole pumpkin and just stuff yourself in it. <laughs> Force yourself into the pumpkin. Get in the pumpkin, gobble gourd. Gobbly gourd.
I wonder if you're too young to get that reference. <laughs> How old are you? If you don't mind me asking, of course. I'm probably about to get a rude awa awakening. Now I'll probably feel really old. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I just want to just want to see what the age demographic is for this game. Because it seems like a pretty old game, but maybe the age demographic hasn't shifted all that much. Definitely needs a bit more work. Let me add some highlights for now. I feel like because of the very rough surface, I can do this in a very spotty manner. Just dabble on some some highlights. Uh, wait, 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 fuck. Wrong message. <laughs> Lula says, yippity yay! And Funkleton says, booga booga. <laughs> I, I kind of like it. It sounds very, like, goofy. There we go. There's only the big tentacle left to do. Should I? Oh yeah, I should do this. Makes more sense with the lighting. Damn, this is one clean composition. I'm kind of proud of myself. I didn't even need to value check it. Usually when I struggle with composition, I always have to like check my values, but this is really clear and easy to read. Nice! I'm doing a great job! Don't mind me praising myself. Sometimes we gotta do it, okay? Sometimes someone needs to praise you. <laughs> even if that someone is yourself, okay? Hmm. Our next is Golly Guard. It comes around Thanksgiving. Hmm, do you do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I get I so I guess you're American, right? Usually around this time Americans are awake. <laughs> yeah, you do. I've never experienced Thanksgiving, but I suppose since I'm Asian, we've just had our like Autumn festival. It's basically Thanksgiving, but Asian version, Luna version. So yeah, I guess it's similar to that. Do you have a favorite dish or something? For Thanksgiving, do you, like celebrate it with your family? I'm American and Hispanic. Ooh. Any food recommendations? Because I don't think in Germany? I don't think we, we have like much exposure to Hispanic food. It's very limited. And probably not the like not the most amazing food. There's a sauce called mole. Hmm. Is it is it like a salsa? Or is it wait, you're not talking you're not talking about guacamole, are you? It's spicy. Mm. I like spicy. Spicy spicy is the spice of life, okay? Spicy food. <laughs> if you can't eat spicy food, damn, you're missing out on half of the joys of life. Wait, should this be the dog? I don't think so. Wait, I have reference! Why am I not looking at it? Okay. 
a bit of texture to this. I hope you don't have trypophobia or something. I guess the perks of having a pretty rough art style is you can get away with uh, being sloppy <laughs> in some parts. Goblet God makes turkey noises. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> gobbly, 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 Is that what a turkey m does? I've never heard a turkey before. I might have seen one before, but I don't think I've heard it before. Doesn't that sound similar to a chick? Like a... doesn't... Eh? Sorry, my, my brain just shortcutted. Uh, does it sound similar to a chicken? Okay. Yeah, this should be light. This should be light in color. The inside of the suction cup is light. Hmm, oh, let's see. What is... does it... I feel like a turkey is just a bigger and dumber chicken right why do you not eat chicken for thanksgiving i guess it's because a, a turkey has more meat <laughs> right so yes Turkey is just a bigger dumber chicken. Man, this man is really bringing up my my maximum potential. This is one of the better drawings that I've done. <laughs> Yule comes around Christmas. Oh, it's from Christmas Yule. I see. But what kind of one says that? Santa monster, huh? I suppose, yeah. That makes sense. Ooh, actually, let me think about this one. Do I... Let me just erase this. Because I feel like... I could draw... One of the suction cups over here. And then add a second one. Over here. Well, slightly smaller than the one before. It kind of looks like a like a nipple. I, mm, do I like this? Do I like it? Do I like the, the nipple looking thing? We just mock it up. Maybe I'll just stick to one. Does the Yule monster go ho 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 then? Or does it does it have like a jingle bell sound? He says ho 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 and uses his bells on his antlers. He does both! Jean, hello! I just want to say again that I love your art. When did you start drawing? Oh, hello, Jean! Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you, you like it. <laughs> it honestly makes me the happiest when someone like likes my art. Not that I'm a people please or anything. I don't need that attention. But um, uh, when did I start drawing? You know, I could go with the typical answer of I've started ever since I could hold a pen in my hand. Um, I've started digital drawing. <gasps> ten years ago. It, it's, it's been ten years already. <laughs> I started ten years ago! <laughs> I'm fucking old. I'm really old. Holy shit. Do you play Genshin Impact? Hello, Munzis at your house. Um, 
Um, I do. Not not avidly, but I um I don't do my dailies. But I, I do play um the Arkan quests, okay. <laughs> I'm kinda I'm kinda in for Genshin's main story right now. And I'm waiting for Dane's Live. Dane's Live. To uh I doubt he'll ever be playable, but in case he is playable, I I'm waiting for him. It's a smoochie. Schmoochie? What does schmoochie do? Genshin Impact. Did you guys, uh... What did you... What did you think of uh, Sumeru so far? Because I've, I've just, like, uh, played the main story. So far, I haven't really explored it yet. It's very green. It's very pretty. I love the new, like, grasses and... I don't know, it's just so green. I like it. I like green. <laughs> you don't pronounce the sh... Sorry, I forgot to say that. Then how do you pronounce it? Looks like smoochy. Like schmooch. I can't fucking read. Oh, it's gone. Huh. I was looking for a message, but it was gone. So I guess you deleted it. There we go. Oh, if you zoom out, it looks really nice. But then if you zoom in, it's, it's a mess like this. <gasps> I saw some artists actually going like refining all of these patches and adding texture and stuff to this honestly whoever whoever does this kind of stuff is, is kind of a psychopath i'm not gonna lie right some artists they just go in and they do this and they refine refine every single like brush stroke i don't know how if they don't spend like 10 hours doing this they're honestly like psychopaths and they sold their soul to the devil to a devil and they need to tell me the devil's hotline because i too want to i want to sell my soul as well i'm learning japanese all these japanese youtubers just make me addicted <laughs> you know what yeah they are very entertaining i should watch them more often too and improve my japanese how is it going learning japanese is it is it difficult at all for you Are there any other languages that you want to learn? And uh, oh, when when on wh why did you decide on learning Japanese? <laughs> because I remember when I was in third or fifth grade. So uh, no, it was third grade. Yeah, it was third grade. I wanted to start learning Japanese because there was not enough. Um, there weren't enough translations on YouTube. <laughs> so I first started out um, watching anime with German subs. And then there were not enough German subs anymore, so I had to switch over and learn English <laughs> to watch anime. And then, of course, there weren't enough English subs. So I asked my mom to... <laughs> Give me to get me uh, some Japanese lessons, and that's how I started learning Japanese. But I haven't really like been consistent with it, unfortunately. Smo Smoochie makes the sound similar to Mamet. Oh, interesting. I'm learning sometime, like here and there. I used to take classes, but stopped for summer. Gonna start soon. I know mostly from anime. Oh, then you're the same as me. <laughs> You know what's really funny? My... My Japanese is good enough for anime. <laughs> so whenever I like, I watch anime, I can kind of like understand it. Without, uh... Without reading the subtitles. However... When I watch a Japanese VTuber or some, something like that, a Japanese YouTuber, I'm fucked. 
Because anime Japanese is completely different. Obviously, obviously it's completely different from uh, like colloquial Japanese. But yeah, I, I kind of fucked myself over. <laughs> I should, I should definitely start watching more like live streamers. Or just have them as background noise. I think that alone would already help. I also need to tone down these colors. It's a bit too intense. I wanted to learn a language that isn't the English alphabet and I was gonna choose Korean or Japanese, but I chose Japanese. Hmm. I never really got into Korean, although I, I really like the language for its, um... I feel like they... First of all, they're so expressive. <laughs> There's... The, Korean is such an expressive language. Like, it expresses emotions really well and I love that. For Japanese, I feel like it, it kind of lacks that emotion. It's just like the insults and stuff. <laughs> insults and... Just the way the jokes um, that they tell is just on a different level. It's really funny. I never really got into it. Maybe it's because uh, I left it to my friends who were more of like career boost than I was. No? I was more of the weeb in the group, and my friends were the Korea boos who loved K-pop and stuff. So they were the ones who uh, learned Korean, and I was like, you know what? You learn Korean, I learn Japanese, and once we go traveling together, <laughs> each of us has a role. My mindset is just 60% YouTube, 20% Crunchyroll, 20% Japanese. You know what? That's a, that's a great... That's a great... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Attitude, I guess. <laughs> you you are already a better planner than I am, okay? I love the food as well. Learn I learned to make dango, onigiri, and sushi. <gasps> oh, I love making onigiri. It's such an easy snack to make as well. And you usually have a lot of rice at home. Especially if you're like Asian and stuff. I can't really tell what Smoochie is saying. Oh, oh, it's a Smoochel! Oh my god, yes, it is an L, not an I. I'm so sorry, it's a Smoochel. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you uh, have like minus 30% on both eyes and you're not wearing glasses when you're sitting in front of your PC. You can't fucking read. I'm illiterate. <laughs> I, I always try to make dango. If you come back to the food. Um, however, however, I, so I somehow always mess it up. Maybe it's because, uh, maybe it's because I use the recipes that use tofu as well. So it kind of like always ends up tasting a bit too much of t like tofu. Maybe I should just like pound my mochi, pound mochi by myself. Oh, Smoochel has a saying. Boom bam boom bam. <laughs> uh, wise words. Very wise words. <laughs> uh, imagine those are your last words. You're being, you're sitting on death's row. The warden asks you. Your ex executioner asks you. Any last words? And you go, boom bam. Boom bam. <laughs> Wait, do I want it? Did I want this? I think I did. Did I? Did I? Did I want this? Let me let me try again. Let me delete this. I'll just, I'll just give my best. Somebody must. I guess. I'll make it work. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say he comes around Valentine's Day. Wait, that doesn't... 
That still doesn't make any sense. Why does he say boom bam boom bam? I don't... Oh, you guys probably don't play Lobotomy Corporation. I guess nothing there would be great for Valentine's Day. That monster says I love you a lot. Especially when it when it's about to kill you. It says hello and goodbye. And I love you. It's really creepy. Okay. Oh, well actually it should be more like this. And just add a soft, soft ring. This looks like a loaf of bread or something. And then, in a layer beneath... I'll add the gradient. And what I think it's kind of distracting. Also, I think it's... It's a bit distracting. I don't think I want to use this, just because it's it's too distracting. Ball. Oh, I see. Boba tea. Oh, you make boba tea daily? <sighs> Wait, do you also make your bobas yourself or do you buy them like pre made? Because I still have like a bunch of them. My mom wants. She wasn't a. She wanted to open a boba shop, but then in, in the end we didn't have the funds for it. But she learned how to make boba, so she bought. I think like. Three kilograms worth of tapioca pearls. And those are just sitting in my freezer right now. I've I've eaten most of them myself. <laughs> I've almost like at the peak I made a boba tea every single day. For for a good three weeks. So yeah, I I, I kinda feel you. Boba is my life. <laughs> boba is life. I get boba, but I have to cook the boba. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to cook it. But it's really easy, too. You just put enough water in, make it boil, burn the boba pearls, boil it for half an hour, and then you just leave it for another half an hour after it's done boiling. And you just, like, close the lid, and then it's almost perfect. After that, you just add a bit of sugar. It was so easy to make, actually. I remember, like, there was a time where YouTube was obsessed. Or at least the, f the food YouTubers were obsessed with making boba. Boba pearls? Boba from scratch? At the height of bubble tea? And, um... Everyone was struggling making them, surprisingly. I was like... Maybe I'm just... Well, I haven't actually tried it myself. <laughs> but it it's not that difficult to cook them, it's just difficult to make them. So they have the right consistency and stuff. And they don't fall apart. I gave you my recipe for dango in the chat. Wait! Wait, I didn't see the... Oh, oh, oh never mind. I see, I see it. I see it. It's, it's easy for me. Mix rice flour and water till the... Till the dough. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, so you don't actually use any tofu. Hmm. Yeah, that's... It's not difficult, I see. I guess I... I tend to add a, uh, I tend to add a little bit of sugar as well. There are more seasonals on seasonal shanty. Hmm, I like boba wood. Wait! What do you mean you like the boba without the boba? It's not boba anymore if there's no boba. What's 
what's the point of buying boba if you don't add the boba? It's like going to, to, to a burger place and asking for a cheeseburger without the cheese. Goblin good. <laughs> it's multi. Yeah, it's just multi. Sometimes not even multi, it's just juice. <laughs> I guess that's the point, huh? Oh, right. I forgot. Uh, I do have a Discord server for uh, announcements and stuff. I'm just hanging out in case you guys want to join. Let me, let me fetch you. A link. We mostly talk about like anime and manga though. And just share like odd some memes, references, but let me where is it? Announcement. Create an invite. Let me copy it. I'll add it for you. Sign in to chat. There we go. In case you uh, want to join. <laughs> oh wait, my chat is functioning again. When did that happen? I was struggling so much setting up the chat today because uh, my fonts, the fonts that I chose, weren't like working. But I guess I never noticed that it's working just fine. Mm, you don't like- yeah, I guess people who don't like boba usually don't like the texture. That's unfortunate. I love chew chewy things. I love- I like tteokbokki and dango and boba. Everything that's kind of chewy and, and stretchy and squishy. <laughs> it's just so nice to chew on. I'm not sure if you know furikake flakes. Oh yeah, I, 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 I know it. I, I don't like it that much though. So I usually just uh, sprinkle stuff myself, but I, I love making rice and having um, basically I make my furikake myself. <laughs> it's usually egg or it's just um, or you know like ground beef and it's like made really crispy. You know you fry it until it's all the fats rendered out. It's really crispy and then you add a bit of like fish sauce. Oh, it's great. Just sprinkle it on your rice. It's better than furikake. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Hmm. My favorite holiday? That's an... Honestly, that's a good question. <laughs> mm, I think it's Christmas. You know what? I think it's Christmas. It's, it's mostly because we don't really... Um, we don't really celebrate anything else. All that, um, yeah, all that greatly. In Germany, we don't, we don't uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Halloween isn't all that big here either. So it's only really fun if you like uh, make appointments. No, if you meet up with friends. But that's also pretty rare. So I guess it's it's. it's I think it's, it's a very typical thing to say. I think my, my favorite holiday is um, Christmas because I just spend it with my family. We usually go out to eat and gift each other stuff and it's really nice. I think another fun thing that I liked was um, Chinese New Year. But it's only really nice. It's, it's only great if you if you get to see all of your family and you really have like a big, big feast. And that's also when you get like lots of red envelopes and um, money, <laughs> money packets. In Vietnamese it's called like Li Si. <laughs> but now that you're old, now that I'm older, I'm not a child anymore. I'm the one who has to give out those money packets. So I guess uh, from now on Chinese New Year is not, not a fun <laughs> experience anymore. Oh, Mans is at your house. Okay, if you gotta go, bye bye. Thanks for dropping by. See you around. Mwah.
There we go. Look, it's almost finished. Blend this out just a tiny bit more. What is this? When did I when did I draw this? How do I delete it? Oh, this is actually part of it. Okay. Well, I think I need to make it bigger though. There we go. And mm, kind of want you to be able to see it a bit of the suction cups inside. Just a tiny little bit. should be good enough but we do need to add a bit of detail just a little bit of, of scribbling sometimes that's enough to get you what you want shrimp with rice no other better thing than that just shrimp on rice hmm, hmm. it depends on what kind of shrimp but i i do agree that shrimp is really nice oh Mo <laughs> moons you're back before I go, Discord invite links never work for me. The only way it works is if someone on Discord sends me the link. Wait, those that didn't that didn't work? And what's what's your would I have to add you at a as a friend? I kind of want to keep my friend list as people that I actually know in real life. <laughs> but uh yeah, let me let me know your idea or something, then I can like just add you to it or something. It says open Discord and just takes me to my home screen. That's that's so weird, what the fuck? Uh new group DM, no. Can I just how do I add someone? Server boost create hmm. Well you know what? What is your Search for friends. Hey, send a server invite link to a friend. Can I? Yeah, give me, give me your Discord ID. I'll try to find it. Can you give me your Discord name? I think usually you have to, um, I'll add you as a friend temporarily, okay? Because I, I tend to strictly keep online friends and uh, offline friends as separate. Seven. Oh, that didn't work. Why not? Oh yeah, because I don't have your 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 name, your discount name. I need that as well. Is it? Is it really that long? It's not months. It is oh, it is. Add your. How do you live with such a long, with such a long nickname? Wait, you can add. Wait, is that emoji included in your Discord name? What the fuck? Oh yeah, I sent you a friend request. <laughs> What the fuck? Why is this going like this? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me add you. I'll, I'll invite you to... Munch. Invite. I'll put you in the general chat. And uh, I'll unfriend you. <laughs> Sorry. Remove friend, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't want to block you. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. 
yeah i just everyone all of my friends have like different usernames and stuff and if i don't keep those keep track of those i'm i'm gonna go in insane <laughs> the content raid was going so fast that it lags for me every 50 seconds oh did you raid another content creator did you did you raid another person the guy, the guy just keeps raiding, huh? Does it ever stop? Is that, is that his livelihood? Oh wow! Thank you. No problem. No, no problem. Welcome, welcome to the Discord. Welcome. Maya is such a sweet person. She welcomes everyone who joins the Discord server. She's not even a mod or anything. Oh my god, that Hatsune Miku. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Obviously, we're not big enough yet that I, I need to make like rules or something. So far, everyone has, has behaved very decently. I think everyone has enough common sense to like not visit, misbehave. I feel like this one should actually be a bit bigger. Ah. Oh no! Oh no, I drew this on the wrong layer! Fuck my life. Mm. Why am I like this? Okay, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is why I have set the history settings of Clip Studio Paint to the maximum so that this kind of stuff doesn't happen to me. It's fine. I fixed it. I fixed it. I am good. Do you play any games? I do. I play ra huh? I play Fire Emblem Heroes. It's a it's a gacha game. It's very casual. I do- I, I like playing Fire Emblem games, so I'm kinda excited for the new Fire Emblem game. Kasa! Yay! Hey! It's- it's tentacles, it's octopus, man. So yeah, I play- I play Fire Emblem. I play Lobotomy Corporation, I'm on my way to- <laughs> Um... Yeah, again, sorry. <laughs> I really need to vacuum my office. Um, so yeah, I play that. I'm on my way to 100% Lobotomy Corporation, which is basically an SCP-inspired game. SCP management game, that's that's basically it. And then I occasionally, I occasionally play Genshin Impact. And like a few other games that are more casual. Because I'm I'm a working adult and I don't have I can't get distracted by games. You know. I was still in school, which I kind of wish I was. I would be able to play all day. And not worry about it because I was pretty good in school. <laughs> you sound like a baby when you sneeze. I'm <laughs> I guess I do. Sometimes I sound like a dad, though. Sometimes when it's like really sudden, I sound like a dad. It's really loud. But um, this is this is more convenient for times when I uh, rapid fire all of my sneezes. Okay. <laughs> uh. There you go. But as you've seen, I've proven myself once again. I will not sneeze below three times. <laughs> uh, honestly, at this point, I should be proud of this ability. I, sh I should put this on my resume when I apply for jobs. I could be a super spreader of COVID if I ever gotten it. This is why, like, me being an introvert and me sitting at home all day, I'm actually doing you a favor. <laughs> If I if I had the the corona, if I had the the rona, I'd I'd be a super spreader, I tell you. What's a favorite restaurant? It's McDonald's! I'm just kidding. Um a 
a favorite restaurant? It depends on what kind of cuisine I'm going for, to be honest. And right up, right... Oh, I feel like I was eating something really good, but I guess my favorite restaurant is... You know what? I, I kind of know. It's it's uh, that one Vietnamese restaurant, restaurant where you can get really good pho. It's, it's, it's my favorite restaurant because it, it has pho. <laughs> And it's it's one of the good ones. Even the aunties and the uncles and all the Vietnamese like immigrants, they're like, yeah, that's the best restaurant that you can uh, get for at in this uh, city. So yeah, yeah, that that one's probably my favorite. It still doesn't hold a candle to actual like Vietnamese food that you can get in Vietnam because it, it just tastes different when you're in the actual country, but. Baby sneeze. No, shut the fuck up. I am adult sneeze. <laughs> I pick like Korean barbecue or Chick-fil-A. Mm. I wish I had a Chick-fil-A here in Germany, but we don't. And I guess uh, there is a really nice Korean uh, Korean fried chicken place uh, near me though. So I, I really like that place too. There's Korean barbecue, but it wasn't that good. Yeah. Korean barbecue is really nice though, in general. But it, it wasn't it wasn't mind blowing. It wasn't mind blowing. At least the place that I went to. Have I told you about that story where one time I went to this Korean barbecue place and um Let me tell you, okay? So I wanted to go out eat with a group of friends. We haven't seen each other in a while. And we wanted to go eat Korean barbecue because it's like a nice group activity. And then I feel like a day before, one of my friends, like, she had something come up so she couldn't come. And the other person who, who couldn't come was uh, re really sick. Okay, so she got really sick so she couldn't come. And I ended up um, going to the barbecue place with the two remaining friends. But both of those two friends were vegetarian. So I went to this Korean barbecue place. We sat down and obviously I'm a student, I don't have that much money, so I um I couldn't just order a whole like plate of meat for myself. So I just went along with whatever they ordered and it was except for the seafood pancake, all of it was um all of it was vegetables. So I ordered a small portion of Korean fried chicken for myself. Because that's the only thing I could, um, you know, fit into my stomach. And you don't know, I, I've never felt this amount of shame in my life before, okay? Go going to a grill place, you know, a Korean barbecue place and only grilling vegetables on the grill. You know, <laughs> the waitresses were judging me so hard, okay? I felt so ashamed. <laughs> I was like, no, this is not me. I, I don't do this on a daily basis. That's what I wanted to scream. I'm like, it's because of these two. It's not because of me. I eat meat. I love meat, okay? I know when to go to a Korean barbecue <laughs> place. <sighs> I got a barbecue barbecue with veggies. It was miserable, okay? It was miserable. I, I faked my my smiles the whole day, okay? I was I was smiling, but it was full of pain. <laughs> she she truly does have a baby sneeze. Stop making fun of my baby sneeze! <laughs> it's not a baby sneeze. It's a full grown adult sneeze, okay? <laughs> nothing I can do about it. You want me to sneeze like your dad? Going like... Rah, rah, like that? <laughs> oh, you know what's, what's really bad? It's really bad to like hold in your sneeze though, so... Keep sneezing. Whenever I see someone like holding in their sneeze, I feel so bad for them because I know it can. Sometimes when you hold your sneeze, 
it really really hurts it's like a it's, it's a shooting pain going up to your like brain it's really bad <laughs> rah, rah. you know what i could be one of those uh singing monsters right <laughs> They should have a monster called Daddy or something, and it just goes to sneeze. Just sneezes like a dad. Okay, now zoom in. We clean up. Well, what do you mean clean up? We would just make this a lot more wriggly and messy looking than it actually needs to be. And that makes it look great! Woo! I actually did a good job for once. Wow. Looking at this way, I'm kind of proud of myself. Hello! I don't even- I don't even need this page anymore. I can just close it. I still need to think about this side though, it's, it's kind of weird. Okay, let me, let me cut this. Copy this. Add a lighter color below. Get the detail for it. Wait, should it be on... Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. This should be... Perspective-wise, it should be on this side. And then... Merge it. And I can just add a bit of shading to this side and... Hopefully... Hopefully it'll turn out fine. We do need to clean up this area a bit. Someone says, have you ever been here and you say no? Then they say, will you know that one something? <laughs> I did not understand that. That was way over my head. You gotta explain it more slowly to me. My brain cells are leaving my body. They're shutting off. You got you gotta know it's almost 4 a.m. here. <laughs> like, yes, yes, thank you for explaining. You walk up to someone and uh someone walks up to you and they're like, hey, do you know this? And you go, no? And then they just continue? Is that what you mean? Have you ever been to Universal Studios? Oh. Okay. And you say, no, I haven't been to Universal Studios. And then they say, you'll know when you get there? No, never mind. <laughs> For some reason, Listen, this weird thing always fucks me up. It looks weird when I just... Leave it empty like this. Maybe I just haven't drawn it, like, correctly. Keep it like this. <laughs> Oops. I say no, and they say, well, you know that one roller coaster game, but you don't know because you've never been there. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. I mean, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> you know, in that case, when 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 someone um asks you something like that. It's usually because they want to tell you something, right? So in that case, when someone asks me, have you been to Universal Studio before? Then I go, then I go, no, I haven't, have you? And then they go like, oh yes, I have. And then you can go like, well, tell me about it then. <laughs> and 
that opens the floodgates for them and then they can they can just tell you about it and then instead of asking well do you know about this roller coaster ride then you you can they they just start describing to you the roller coaster ride and they're like well there's this one roller coaster ride in Universal Studios, it looks like this, it behaves like this, and you're like, mm-hmm, 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 tell me more, bits, tell me more. And that's how you win at social games. <laughs> Socializing, okay? I've cracked the code, guys. I've cracked the code. Maybe the suction cup... TD... <laughs> ...is too big, yeah. Yeah, I think it's too big. That's why I'm, like... You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm kind of like making it smaller. It's already looking a bit better. But I also feel like it's, it's kind of like a weird rhythm right now. Because there's all of this. And it's... I think I need... I actually need to add something around here as well. It just... It just feels really weird. Probably I should have done like a donut or something. But I also don't want to destroy the texture that I've created back here. So I feel like if I do have this here, it's just like one, two, three, four, maybe five. I don't think you even see this all that much. And this feels weird. And then if you add one more over here. It's even worse because suddenly you have like this this pattern. But if I don't do it, maybe I just need to add hmm. But maybe perhaps perchance just make it make a curve like this. Then I won't even need this one. But then it also feels a bit empty. <laughs> Do you see my my dilemma? <laughs> dilemma. The suction cups remind me of a monster called Scups. And that name kind of rem reminds me of this one K-pop idol called S Coops. <laughs> it's written like this. Yes, hoops. <laughs> I thought I was almost done. But now I am here, struggling with suction cups. Didn't think that would ever come out of my mouth. Are you struggling with suction cups? I have the solution for you. Friend. I think I should probably do something like this. You know what? Yeah, it wasn't... Because it wasn't this guy's problem, it was this guy's problem. This suction cup is... out of place. So let me, let me draw over it. It was you all along, the one that I thought that looked good. Scoops, have you have you been to that concert? Actually, I have seen Seventeen Life before. Very proud of that moment. <laughs> it was on the. I think it was right after the debut. Yeah, it was Akina. Uh, yeah, it was Adore You that I saw them perform. It was at the 2015 K-pop Summer Festival. And, uh, they are much more handsome in real life. It's unreal. It's, it really is unreal, okay? They're so good looking. And they're great performers as well. It was really fun to watch them. Also, I love hearing your art thought process. Thank you! Yeah, I kind of like... This is the reason why I don't really watch art streamers, because I... 
they always draw and it always looks so pretty but then they don't really like explain what they're doing and I'm like talk to me <laughs> we, it's, it's so nice hearing people like make decisions while they draw and then that's that's how you learn from other people <laughs> And, um, honestly, I don't have enough experience with art to think of that kind of composition conflicts. Conflicts. Mmm, I see. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, it's... A, it's you, you'll accumulate all of this, um... All of the, the knowledge. You know, the knowledge that you gain by learning a composition, like principles, color theory and stuff, that's all... Those are all the tools. That, that help you um, deal with these conf like conflicts. Oh, oh, wait. I, I need to make this one bigger, actually. That's uh, not the right size. Where did you learn this? Did you go to art school or did you learn it on your own? And I... When I studied game design... <laughs> When I studied game design, I thought I would get a few art lessons, but I didn't. <laughs> so, um, instead, I used my, um, my money from, um, giving English classes. Like, well, I, I did some, like, English tutoring, right? Um, so I used that money to get myself, um, a subscription for schoolism, and that's where I where I uh, learned a lot. I did um, Nathan Falk's environment and color, color classes, composition classes. So I basically did like online classes, online courses. It, it really helps you a lot hearing from like industry professionals and stuff. So it's, it's, it was really worth the money for me. And you have access to all of the, the courses, right? The only thing that you don't get is um, like actual feedback from um, from the teachers. But since you, you're learning the principles and the tools to analyze your art, you can, you can do it yourself. You might not be able to come up with a good solution, but usually um, you can watch the videos of um, other students. You know when they give you uh, when they give feedback to students who've actually paid for um like live feedback and stuff so you can they they usually have similar problems to you and then you know you learn from learning from other students mistakes so yeah so the first concept yeah 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 I went to the most recent concert. Oh, wow, you were... That must have been amazing because at this point, Seventeen has so much, like... They have so many songs and they've matured so much. Wow, honestly, I'm kind of jealous of you now. <laughs> I think Seventeen was in Germany before, but I... Because I don't really have, like, a grasp on... Grasp on um, when someone performs. You know, I, I live in the... I love it. I live in the capital as well. And literally I, I could like getting to the concert hall is always like, I don't know, a 30 minute drive, a 20 minute drive. So I could go to all of these K-pop concerts. I always miss them. <laughs> I miss them because A, I don't really enjoy concerts and, and B. I always miss the tickets. The ticket sale. <laughs> sale. I'm not up to date with the news. So yeah, unfortunately. If, oh wait, actually I don't think it was 17, it was like Stray Kids or something. Wait, who's simping? Oh. <laughs> You're simping for me? They're simping for my art skills, if anything. It's not simping, it's just appreciation. It's just appreciation, okay? Stray Kids too. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen them though, but like, they're great performers. I love watching their performances. Honestly, Stray Kids and Seventeen, I, I kind of see why I like them, because I like BTS too. <laughs> so I really enjoy BTS for their like performances and their rap line. 
and like the flow of the the raps was really enjoyable. So that's when I got like into uh, into K-pop, you know, dope era. <laughs> and then uh, I think Seventeen had the performance aspect that was really great. They like the music always like it was always a bop. And then I think that's why I liked like Stray Kids. They had like the great performances, the energy. Kind of similar to, to earlier BTS days. Yeah. And wait, who did... I don't, re I don't remember? I think there was another group that I really like. Who I thought was some sort of mix between like, I don't know, 17 and BTS or something. I don't remember which group it was. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if it was a boy band. <laughs> Let me take a look at it from this angle. Let me add a few highlights. I feel like usually octopuses have some sort of ring over here, and it's it's really it's really thin. But I've 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 made this suction cup a bit too thick. Quite possible that I did that. And that's this is where the highlights are, right? Right at the rim of Oops. Of this weird ring. And then I think maybe So I guess the, the section cups might not be anatomically correct. But then also... This is a fucking demon, okay? It's, it's a... It's a demon. Should be allowed to draw it like this. <laughs> you know what, let's make it just a tiny bit. Tiny bit thinner. Such a good taste in music. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think I have a good taste in music too. <laughs> but then it's like it's kind of difficult because uh, I don't know. You know, are you the kind of person who plugs in their um, phone uh, to the car if you're like on a ride with other people? Because I, I always try to avoid it. <laughs> Because whenever, whenever I like, back then, it wasn't it wasn't common to listen to anime music or um or K-pop. So there was always the stigma like you ha you listen to this kind of music. So I always leave other people to put in the aux cable. Hmm, MSM content just finished his stream. Oh, what? How long did you stream for? That's that's a pretty long time. I think you like rated me pretty early on. Yes, Octopus Man. Have you only noticed now? <laughs> it's been the title of the stream for the for the longest time. Oh, you know what? Actually, the section cups is looking pretty good now. Hmm. I figured out the anatomy of the octopus. It was the secret was a slimmer ring. Hear ye, hear ye. Damn, bro, his arm looked big. You're not talking about this skinny arms. This guy is a twink! <laughs> he got the six pack. <laughs> the six pack of suction cups. That is, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. 
I'm sure this guy's got a th six pack. He needs to fight after all. So yeah, he might have a six pack, but he's also a twink. <laughs> do people still do people still say twinks and stuff? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. on a vector layer? Oh no. Well, it's, it's not harmful in any way. Just feels a bit unnecessary. It's probably, it probably just makes the file a bit bigger than it should be. Than it needs to be. Okay. Add a few highlights. polish this up later but I just need to you know get the shapes right at the moment so now that I have the section copies you know the highlights that I shouldn't forget later on I think that's it Twinkle, you squish him and cream comes out. Maybe it does. I don't. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's really soft. <laughs> the tentacles are pretty squishy as well, I think. It's kind of funny how he has this really red octopus when. Wait. Is an octopus red in real life or is it does it only turn red once it's cooked? Wait, let me check it real quick. Octopus! Oh not tentacles. I want to see the living creature. Oh, it actually is red. It can be red. So it doesn't need to be cooked like a shrimp to turn red. It's just it can naturally be red. Interesting, interesting. But hey! I think this is where I'll leave it at for today. Look, this is what I started... Wait, this is what I started off with. And then... I added a few colors as a base. This is... This was the original concept. But I don't think we need to make it this... Um, We don't make need to make it this sinister. So maybe, maybe I'll change the colors later on, but... Right now, this is the result, okay? We fixed the suction cups after like, I don't know... Two hours. <laughs> and that's it. I think that's... That's honestly it for today. Thanks for staying around for so long. Nice. It was nice to meet you. And, uh... I'll see you next time! Wait, actually... I don't have an ending scream. I, uh, ending s scream, stream, steen. <laughs> ending screen. Yeah, see you next stream. So, uh, because I don't have an ending screen, uh, sc <laughs> I can't talk! I don't have an ending screen. You'll have to look at my start screen again, okay? <laughs> I'll be out to buy some milk. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, gators. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.